July 13th, 2019, or 674 days ago I made this video, and I need you guys to try to try to go find that uh, fake ass documentary about me. I had that shit removed for complete ridicule, slander, and everything all of the above. But if I can get a if I can get a hold to a couple other people off that channel um, that he's uploading videos about, we could all submit flags and kill that dude's channel. So basically, what I got to do tomorrow is go and file a civil suit on this dude. I have his his actual real name and all that type of shit. You cannot publicly put out people's try to put out people's information i'm taking this shit very serious all right very serious that's all i'm gonna say about it soon as my shit pulls up we'll say his name on stream you cannot publicly put out people's try to put out people's information to i'm not gonna give up on this i'm uh taking as many actions as i possibly can as far as that fake documentary um Tonight, we're going to do a mass flag on that video. I was watching a video, some punk ass nigga talking about what this punk ass coward June the King did. I can't help what's being typed in my stream. I don't know what's going on. Everybody docks me. What's the difference? Yeah, Never in my wildest dreams did I think that he would go as far as to dock someone because he lost a copyright strike. That is insanely ridiculous. Oh my god, LTG's doxing me. But you basically alluded, tried to elude everything. Nah, what I'm gonna do is tie him up. That's what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna tie him up. I'm gonna bound him. Staring at him with his beady ass Kodak black eyes. Trying to cut his shit off while, while, while June's just looking, just in desperate trouble. Just sweating profusely. Also, this is the year that June the King video will be gone too. Just to let you niggas know. Wait, 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 wait. Stop, stop, stop. Hello, guys, and welcome to day 675 since I uploaded the low tier god video. Uh, I'm sorry for that, like, dramatic opening, but, you know, it's got to be a little bit zesty before I get into the main stuff. The first thing you're probably noticing right now is that I'm on face cam, and there's two big reasons for this. The first reason is this, this video is not neutral, like, whatsoever. I'm going to be biased in this video because it has a lot to do with me. I'm a main character in the story, right? And the second reason is I want to strengthen my argument for fair use in this video. And what fair use is, is essentially when you make a video or something transformative, you change the nature of it, you know, like let's say a reaction video or whatever in a major way, and it becomes your own content, you know, you transform it into something different. And that's what I'm trying to do with this video. If it does get taken down, I'm ready to get it taken back up. So that's not going to be a problem. So yeah, so for the past almost two years now, I've been doxxed and harassed by, uh, I guess, YouTuber, content creator, X twitch streamer uh, that goes by the name of Low Tier God. The reason I say X twitch streamer is because he's been banned on Twitch. He's been banned on Facebook, but I think he's back. He's been banned on Twitter. He's made another account. You know, he evades bans, which is a major thing. But he's never been banned on YouTube, which is what I'm trying to achieve in this video because... He's putting a lot of people's lives at risk by releasing personal information, which is what doxing is. So after he released my personal information, you know, my name, where I lived, I'm in a different place now, luckily, um, my phone number, my email address, for some reason, whatever, you know, I've, I've changed a lot of information. I'm safe now. It's cool. But this keeps on happening to other people. You know, after me, three other people were doxed. Right, three other people were, were doxxed by Low Tier God. He, he's not going to stop. He's made it clear that if you oppose him, then he's going to release your personal information and get you harassed, maybe swatted, maybe, you know, send a pizza over, whatever way he can intimidate you and bother you. And, you know, I've had enough. That, that's enough. And I, I wanted to end here. That is just, I'm fed up. You know, I've been trying to just like get away from the situation. But being that my channel has grown significantly over the past two years, right? I feel it is my responsibility to finally put this whole big mess to an end. So now that I've gotten that intro out of the way, we can finally get into the main meat of the video, the whole story. So, you know, I like to make videos on controversial figures, maybe some not so controversial, you know, sometimes I like to mix it up and get some like people that I really appreciate, you know, like Jenna Marbles. I really appreciate her as a content creator. Um, 
sometimes I cover really controversial figures and something I always try to do as a rule of thumb is whenever I cover someone, sure, there's a lot of bad things being said about them, right? But I also want to find all the good aspects that aren't really being shown. You know, I try to make that a point, like, within all my videos. But with Low Tier God, it was like a, a really big struggle because it's so hard to find anything good that he's actually done. He, he's, he's a terrible person. There's no other way to say it. Low Tier God is an absolutely terrible person. My God. Initially, back in 2019, I, I got a lot of requests to cover this guy. And the strange part was he was like a really small channel. I mean, relatively small. He had like 40,000 subscribers at the time. I had like around 20,000, but like his name was like... You could really find a lot of content on him on YouTube, which, I, you know, was strange to me. I was like, how is such a relatively small channel spread all across YouTube and other sections of the internet. So I was thinking, like, who is this infamous figure? And it would be pretty interesting to cover him. So it took about 80 hours and two weeks to start and finish the video, and this is the result from it. Um, from immovable to delusional, low tier god story to Lon Sparrow. So yeah, that that's my video right here, right? Uh, as you can see, uploaded July 13th, 2019, right here, right? And within two days, right, it was taken down. It, it didn't even last long. But before I get into all that mess, let me tell you what happened at a slower pace. So the video, like any other of my videos, was, you know, slow to start, but then it eventually started gaining more traction. And, you know, low tier God noticed this. And he left a pretty warm comment um, on the video. I'll show it to you guys right now. I just got to find it. Okay, okay. Here it is. So this is the comment that Low Tier God left on my video, I think the 15th, yeah, the 15th, the same day it was taken down. And this comment reads, you reaching, I rise and still rise, get the fuck off my dick, running ads on my stolen content, don't make me flag you, bitch boy. So yeah, uh, he's mad that I'm running ads on the content he stole, apparently, you know, by the structure of that sentence. So... I thought really nothing much of it. I thought I was like, okay, this is kind of silly. I highlighted the comment, as you can see there. I thought it was pretty, like, funny. And then I was also getting a bunch of comments like, this will get flagged by him, um, you know, within a few days. Uh, other things like that saying he might take the video down, which is something I never experienced. And I was like, yeah, yeah, sure. That's going to happen. You know, sure thing, guys. Sure thing. Yeah. And what do you know it? Like, I took a nap, right? And I was like, dang, this video is performing really well. You know, I'm feeling really great about the performance of this video. It's doing pretty decently. And I think I woke up at like 6 p.m. at the time. And what I awoke to was this. Bam! A video unavailable. This video is no longer available due to a copyright claim by this video is defamation of character. <laughs> so as you can tell already, it's not supposed to be worded like this. It's supposed to be no longer available due to a copyright claim by and then the name of the person who took it down. So on YouTube and other websites, you can take content down that you believe is infringing on your copyright via what's known as a DMCA, otherwise known as the Digital Millennium Copyright Act. You know, this allows you to take videos down that you believe to be infringing on your copyright. And that's pretty much about it. You know, you, you shouldn't be using this process to take a video down that you believe to be defamation of character, which is pretty much when you say something bad about a person that it ruins their reputation, right? Yet still, we see this lurking on my video. You know, claimed by this video is defamation of character. And the reason it is worded this way is because whenever you're filling out the form for, you know, a copyright takedown, you have to put your channel name, your name, whatever. And in the name, he just put, this video is defamation of character, which again, you shouldn't be using this process if it's defamation of character. You can tell right off the bat that low tier God does not understand what defamation of character is or even the copyright system, because I mean, like this happened. You know, what, what is this? It's ridiculous, right? Uh, so what I awoke to besides this was a bunch of messages on my Discord, like telling me that it was taken down. And I was like, you know, 
what, what's going on, right? So the first thing I did when I woke up, right, besides looking at my Discord and all the mess that was happening, is I researched how to try to get this video back up because, you know, it is my content. It is rightfully mine. It's transformative. I made it. I, I added my own commentary, analysis, whatever. And what you have to do, essentially, to get a video back up is send a counterclaim. And in order to send a counterclaim, what you have to do is you have to send the opposing party your name, your address, your phone number, and your email, right? So if they want to see you for copyright infringement, they'll send that information to a lawyer and, you know, things will be processed from there. Otherwise, your video will go up in 14 days. So I was like, okay, cool, I'll send this. And within 14 days, it should be back up. You know, I've documented that he doxes people in my video. So hopefully, like, you know, I won't get doxed. I was, <laughs> I was too confident at the time, obviously, considering what happened. So at this point in time, July 15th, by the way, is when the video was taken down. I'm just kind of waiting to see what happens, right? Because I did send the counter notification. Here is the takedown email that I got. And what YouTube does is they pretty much go over your counter notification, right? They make sure you know what you're doing, what kind of things you're getting yourself into. I pretty much said that like, look, this is my video. I made it transformative. It's fair use you know, send it over. And they did within the next couple of days, but July 15th, right? Nothing, because I'm still waiting. But then that night, he hopped on his live stream and he had something to say about my video. So still, the night of July 15th, 2019, as you can see on his stream, it is 9.09 within his time zone and he has some fun things to say about me. So let's go ahead and watch this clip. I need you guys to try to Try to go find that uh, fake ass documentary about me. Go look for it. What up, one hit? See if you guys can find it. Okay, really quick. He calls my documentary, you know, video, whatever, a fake ass documentary. He's been doing this for the past two years and he has yet to say what well, part of it's fake. I, you know, whenever we were exchanging emails, which I'll get into, um, I asked him like, hey, you know, if there's anything that needs to be changed or anything that's like actually wrong, <laughs> I'll fix that. Just tell me like, what's fake? You know, where did I mess up? Right? So you'll continue to see that throughout this video. Yeah, it was a fake ass documentary, but I, what I want you guys to do is go look for it. Go to that person's channel and try to find it. Again, you know, I asked him like, what part of my documentary is fake? What information did I get wrong? And <laughs> no answer because I don't think anything really is wrong, but there, there are a few things, but I'll get into that later. He's so fucking gross, dude. I'm he sorry. Delete is... it. Mm. I had that shit removed. He Everything did. in the documentary was false. It's not. I had that shit removed. He did. I contacted YouTube, talked to a live chat instantly. They told me it was against community guidelines, and I had that fucking bullshit removed. Does anybody know I can get in contact with uh, Wings of Redemption? Because I want to talk to him. That's so disgusting. The reason why... I want to talk to Ring Wings of Redemption is because I already had a flag submitted to that dude's channel. I seen the Wings of Redemption. That dude did a Wings a video on Wings of Redemption that had 400k. I did. So if we can get Wings of Redemption to to put a flag on that man's channel for complete ridicule, slander, and everything all of the above, submitting. Okay, okay, okay. So it's obvious that Low Tier God hasn't seen. The video I made about him, really, because he can't really answer basic questions. Like, you'll see that later on. Um, there's no way he knows about anything to do with my Wings of Redemption video. And what's also funny is in the past, Low Tier God has insulted Wings of Redemption heavily, which is another person, you know, I made a video on. So I doubt Wings would want to work with him anyways to, you know, try to take my channel down. So at this point in time, within his mind, you know, he hasn't received my counter notice or anything like that. He's pretty much won. And he's going overboard trying to take my channel down by getting more copyright strikes applied. Right? So he applied one copyright strike. 
And if you get two more applied, then your channel pretty much goes down if no counter notifications are submitted. You know, he's won and he's still like, he's still going after me, which is pretty crazy. False personal information, misleading information, then that could be two strikes. If I can get in contact with somebody else that that dude did a video on, I can definitely, um, you have Insta, can you send me the link over email? Yeah, just, you got Facebook? But if I can get a, if I can get a hold to a couple other people off that channel, um, that he's uploading videos about, we could all submit flags and kill that dude's channel. Mm -hmm. I don't give a fuck about no ad revenue when a nigga's trying to sit over here and trying to spread all this fake ass business about me and have niggas all in my business. Absolutely not. Anyways, if there's anybody that knows how I can get in touch with Wings of Redemption, that would be excellent. Okay, I'm just going to say this, like, the people that I've done videos on, they know that I've done videos about them. Maybe except Jake Palm because he's so big, like, he probably doesn't know, like, half, maybe 90% of the videos that are made about him, you know? Um, I'm cool with a friend, which is the first of these videos that I made. I'm pretty chill with Ice Poseidon. I haven't spoken to him in, like, two years, but he, whenever I did speak to him, he's pretty chill. Uh, Wings doesn't care. Jenna Marbles is off the internet. Onision... Like, I don't know. He took my video down too, but I got that back up. He doesn't really care about anyone. So Onision's fine. Yeah, so no one that I've made a video on has really the same mentality as him. He really thinks he can convince these random people to essentially break the rules and attack my channel in order to be taken down unfairly. So again, you know, he's already taken my video down, but he still wants to punish me by getting my channel removed for doing nothing that's against the community guidelines. You know, if I was doing something like doxing, then like, sure. Oh, but it doesn't end there. there there's still a lot more. So then the following day, uh, July 16th, 2019, I received this email and it's from low tier God. On the email, I sent for my counter notification because it finally reached him, you know? So now he has my name, my number, my email, uh, address and my email, which is supposed to be forwarded to a lawyer because you're supposed to use that information um, to file a lawsuit, right? That's what the DMCA process pretty much does. But instead, he decided to take it upon himself to use that information to contact me personally when that's not what you're supposed to do. So he titles this email, your attempt at a counterclaim. It's not an attempt. It is an actual counterclaim at this point. You know, it's, it's not an it's not an attempt. It's actually happening. And he goes off to say, I'm letting you know since it's this important for you to try and release person information as well as an attempt to slander my name and call it fair use when it clearly is not. I'll be sure to file a court order against you. I don't know why he's telling me this. Like, if you're going to do it, just do it. Like, this does not help your case by, like, contacting me. This is what you're not supposed to do, Okay. You do not have my permission to use me, my likeness, or sorry guys, uh, likeliness, or anything about me on your videos. And I will be taking legal action. Like, I swear, this could be like written by a middle schooler and I, I would not be able to tell the difference. I will also be contacting others you have done documentaries on in the past to flag those slanderous videos as well as take legal action. Uh, against you as well. Instead of worrying about other people's lives from behind a computer, trying to profit off of other notables, I suggest you worry about yours. Action taken. Okay, okay. So this is like the really funny part, right? <laughs> I think I know why you sent this video. So YouTube, right? Their DMCA process requires you to take action, right? In order for a video not to go back up. Because he sees the counter notification, he knows it's going to go back up within 14 days. So YouTube says, okay, we need proof that you're going to file, like, you have, like, actual papers saying that this is being filed, you know, through a lawyer or whatever. You may be filing yourself if you're that amazing of a lawyer, right? Uh, and then you send it to YouTube and they're like, okay, we'll hold off on returning this video within those 14 days. You know, we'll wait until this is actually settled in court. Until that time, thank you for sending us information that you're actually 
pursuing legal action. So my thought process is, right, he said action taken, he sent this whole thing like to me, and then he sent this screenshot to YouTube, and he was like, okay, look, I contacted the dude, I threatened to take his channel down, I said action taken, all right, don't, don't allow his video to go back up because I said some funny words. Great. And at this point, I'm trying to keep it chill. I'm still trying to see what the hell is going on because I've never gone through a process like this, you know. I'm just trying to, like, keep quiet and just observe, like, okay, is this actually turning into something legal? Like, so I start contacting other channels and start asking them, like, have you guys been to the, like through this? Like, what do I do besides sending a counterclaim? How, where does this end up? Can he actually pursue legal action in any way? So he sends me this email and then about four hours later, right, he goes on his live stream, then talks about me like again. And so this is the clip from July 16th, 2019, 9.50 in his time zone. So, you know, let's watch that. Uh... So I kind of just want to talk to you guys, the people that's in here, I kind of want to talk to you guys about uh, what's been going on with that fake ass documentary video. And I had the video removed, but um, the dude did a counterclaim claiming that it was fair use for him to basically try to expose where I went to school. Try to exp Hold up, hold up, hold up. Okay. Expose where he went to school. His college, right? Um, he did that himself. Okay. Check this out. One second, one second. Let me get this ready. Okay, here we are. Um... All right, so check this video out, guys. We'll, we'll go back to this video, but I want to show you something first real quick. All right, so he still has this video live on his channel. He's probably going to take it down when I release this video, but it's called Banned Xbox Live Account Accepting Challenges and Thank Yous, right? Released January 29th, 2014. What's going on, YouTube? Back all right, all right. Let's, you know, zoom in a little bit. All right. You know what, let's zoom in a bit more. Let me screenshot this. Let me get this a bit more easier to see. All right. All right. So look, look at this. Look at this. Business management, right? And then right there, University of Antelope Valley. He's wearing his fucking college shirt in a fucking video. And there's several videos like this. Look, my here's another one. On just YouTube wearing the same shit. exact and shirt and right here no right there clue and how this shit even works I except this one doesn't even say business management I don't think he's like graduated yet so this is like another shirt from the same college you know I, I don't know about you guys but I don't keep shirts from colleges I never attended um beyond that like okay sure he's wearing a shirt from a college um when I was doing research on this video right he had an actor's profile up. I don't think he has it up anymore, but if you searched his name, or you know, the name he goes by at least, not his real name, as you can tell right there, his, this is like a perfect frame to like freeze on to. Um, so his armor right here, he has a tattoo that says the Lawn Sparrow, because that is the name he gave himself, which is fine, cool, like, we'll address you as that name because that's how, like you prefer, whatever, dude, I don't, I don't care, fine. Um, so if you search Delon Sparrow back in 2019, then you'll get his actor's profile, which is open to the public for everyone to see. Everyone. And what it said on there is business management and some other information confirming the validity that he attended that school, right? So it's like, I didn't release this information about where you went to school. You did and because you release this information to the public yourself, right? I'm allowed to put it in my video. So let's go back to that live stream that happened on July 16th, 2019. Oh, it's my actual real name, trying to do all a bunch of sh Real name. So, okay, people don't think I said his real name within the video, but I did. And I'll explain that again. So just like he released where he went to college, you know, there's other videos where he talks about the college he attended, you know, I just showed you a few examples. As for his real name, there are several examples of him posting his real name online himself. You know, I'll, I'll show you one. Okay, I, I just spent like 30 minutes looking for this, and I finally found it. 
Okay, so this is literally still on his channel. The information is luckily not up to date. I'm not gonna show you any indication of where, where to find it. I, <laughs> I don't want you guys to find it, but this is just proof that he posts his own personal information, including his name. His name, his real government name on YouTube, on his own channel. He doxes himself, he releases his own information. It's unbelievable. But look, look, th this video right here, like it's right here. He, I, I, it's unbelievable. Like he didn't censor this package that he received and it has his name, it has his old address, whatever. And it's still there. It's still there. He's been notified, I'm sure, of this video that has his real name, which it's been mentioned in many other places. He had this video called um, Edgar Allan Poe, The Black Hat, where he reads poetry from Edgar Allan Poe. Um, and at the very end, of course, in the titles, he has his real name. Like, I can go ahead and say, I can legally, you know, whatever, fine, go ahead and say what his real name is, because he's exposed it so many times. Like, sure, this was an accident, but during the credit sequence to Edgar Allan Poe, the video he uploaded, that was intentional. So because he intentionally released his information, I am legally allowed to say his real name wherever I please, right? Because he exposed that himself. He did this to himself. He did it. He put this out there himself. It's just insane. Like, this is what I've had to deal with for the past two years. His name is right there. His old address that he accuses people of doxing is right there. You dox yourself, dude. This is none other than you doing it to yourself. This this whole mess is just you. Like, my God. Ah, <sighs> my. Yeah. Okay, anyways, let's go back to the video. Okay. Shit. And break into privacy. Breaking into privacy. Okay, okay. He releases all this information himself. He, he really does. Like, it's everywhere. You know, like... <sighs> Whatever, it's just such a mess. Shit that he had no business doing and putting my shit on the internet. And um, it's looking like dude um, actually thinks that I'm not going to go ahead and file a civil suit. He didn't, by the way. He didn't. So, I don't know. To me, if somebody flagged the video I did like that, that I was basically slandering somebody and exposing information or trying to expose information and dig deep into someone's life for no reason. I only reported it on things he said. I've only, you know, my source was him and his videos. It's insane. Like literally like pretty much everything that you see in my video is something he said, right? Like I don't go into personal Facebooks. I don't go into like personal Instagrams that are obviously meant for your friends and family, anything like that. I don't try to release any information that you yourself haven't put out there because that's Pretty fucked up, and that's not something I think a sane person would do. Reason, uh, without any permission, I, I would need, think that if they flagged it, I was just gonna leave it alone. It is doxing. He released his own personal information, his address, his name. I said his real name once because he put that out there. After that, I addressed him as Delon Sparrow because, like, you know, I want to be respectful when I make these videos. So, you know, I want to address him as he wants to be addressed. But YouTube is ran by bots, so they allowed this dude to counterclaim. But it's fine. I'm going to go to court tomorrow. I hope somebody sees this, too. I'm pretty sure people will. I'm basically going to go to court tomorrow, file a civil suit against this dude. Exactly. It is harassment. Oh boy! The he didn't. Act, uh, no, of course the nigga didn't ask me. Come on now. So basically, what I got to do tomorrow is go and file a civil suit on this dude. I have his his actual real name and all that type of shit. So I guess as if that isn't threatening, right? I'll, I'll go into like why that is important later on, because well, no, you know what? I'll go into it now actually. So my real name, right? My first name is Jaime. Fine, cool. I put that out there before. That's fine. People, you know, that's that's out there in the internet. I did that myself. That's cool. I want people to know my first name because it's it's fine. I don't care. You know, last name is like when people can start identifying you, right? So 
he's obviously saying that in a threatening manner because he knows he has something above me. He has some leverage that he can release my name and dox me, right? He has my real name that I have not put out. I put out my first name, never my last name, never my last name. Nope, none of that. He thinks I'm joking. I guess he thinks it's a game. I guess he thinks he's going to get the video back on his channel, which is that's what he's trying to do with that fake ass counterclaim. Let me let me read to you guys what this guy said. Um, there was no reason to remove my video. My video falls under fair use policy. So he believes what he did was fair use. I know it's fair use. He said, my video falls under fair use policy. I've used my own narration and commentary along with mostly my own original content. I have also given credit to similar content. So he believes that, um, talking about shit he has no business speaking on, slander, ridicule. None of that has to do with fair use, by the way. None of that has to do with fair use. He just jumps on different things that have like little to no relation to each other. I, I don't know why. Ooh, trying to expose my actual everything, real name, address, whatever the fuck he's doing, right? Putting up fake documents, fake shit, um, speculate. He doesn't even, he never says what any of these fake things are. I guess he feels like that's fair. He says, I swear in their penalty or perjury that I have good faith and belief that material was used, was removed due to a mistake or misidentification of the material to be removed or disabled. What the fuck is wrong with this nigga? I consent to the jurisdiction of the federal district court of the district in which my address is located or if my that's just default shit at the bottom he didn't write that last little bullshit but basically all he said was there was no reason to remove my video my video falls under the fair use policy i've used my own narration and commentary along with mostly my own original content i've also given credit to similar content that's basically all he said do that's the first thing to do when i wake up in the morning is going to the courthouse and filing a civil suit against this guy I, that's exactly what's going to happen. And anybody that I can get in contact with that he's dropped videos on already, I'm basically going to contact them and have them do the same thing. You can't get away with trying to slander somebody and do all this radical shit for no reason. This is the reason why people out here killing themselves and all that type of shit is because of people like this faceless nobodies that get on here trying to scrutinize and fuck shit up that's probably what ultimately led to etika's demise I, it's really hard to believe i'm dealing with a person like this sometimes i'm telling you this is just all these channels talking shit about him uh what the fuck is his name keemstar and all that kind of shit shit yeah etika was cool with keemstar at the end of it but the the fact of the matter is when you do shit like that, you start making people think irrational. When you try to dig in someone's life, I wanted everybody to know everything about me. I would never, I wouldn't, I wouldn't call myself what I am. There's a reason why I don't go by my government name because it's no one's business. It's, it's, it's disrespect to try to put up somebody's government name when they don't go by that name. You cannot publicly put out people's try to put out people's information or give people ideas about shit you like that you like how he said he cannot publicly put out people's information you can't you can and you can't you can put out people's public information if they've already put it out themselves you can however do it in a way that incites harassment right which is what doxing is that's what I'm saying. There's another, uh, there's actually another documentary out there that's basically just talking about me gaming. It has nothing to do with you trying to figure out what college I went to, where I'm working, where I used to work, all types of crazy shit. So that one, I didn't give a fuck. I seen it was like, all right, but. Okay, where he used to work, right? He's done several videos talking about his previous jobs. Several. Okay. Like, this is just so mentally exhausting. I've had to deal with this for the past two years. Okay, this is just exactly putting up workplaces, putting up my putting up my government name. Let me tell you guys something for all you niggas watching. Two hundred and fifty-one people. I'm pretty sure everybody here knows what my real name is, but I don't associate myself with my government name. Like most entertainers, hold up, hold up, hold up. Let me let me go back. Let me go back. Let me go back. 
Like most associate myself. I'm pretty sure everybody here knows what my real name is. I'm pretty sure everybody here knows what my real name is. But I'm pretty sure everybody here knows what my real name is. Everyone already knows. What's the, what's the big deal, dude? Like that, everyone knows. How am I putting out your information if everybody knows? Like, what, why, why is that such a bad thing? Everybody already knows. It was not me. I didn't dox you. Doxing means I'm the one who initially leaked that information. I did not. You put it out yourself. I'm going crazy. I, I'm like going crazy, like watching this again. God. But I don't associate myself with my government name like most entertainers do. There is no reason for people to be trying to sit over here and make it a thing to be sitting out here calling me. What the f Okay, I'm probably gonna have to like blur this out or like bleep it out, but he just said his own fucking name, dude. He just said his own fucking name on live stream. Maybe I'll just keep it in. But he literally said his own fucking name. I swear to God, I'm going crazy, like, looking at this again, because, like, this is bringing back some shit, some, like, really frustrating stuff. So I'm sorry if I'm being, like, you know, too much right now, but just, it's so frustrating, you know, like, dealing with this. Ass track on here. I want to hear more of that. Okay, <clears throat> so I think that's about it for that video, that clip or whatever. Let's see what's next. So, um, as you can see on screen, this is an old email, right, of Low Tier God Stream Archive, which is one of the first channels, I believe, that really started to archive his streams, you know, as per the name. And if we look down here a little bit, he tweeted out his personal information, right? I went ahead and, like, colored all that personal information, like, black so no one can see it. Um, anyways, he said, here's the dude's address who keeps stealing all of my streams, tripling my views, and spreading my personal information. Is this real? So, doxing or releasing this personal information is against community guidelines. It's not just against community guidelines, it's actually against the law. You know, right here, um, behind these black lines... You have his real name, his phone number, and his address, his place of residence. And before I get into the law, I want to make it very clear that the copyright process, with the information that you get from it, needs to go to your lawyer. You know, this isn't your information to play around with. YouTube does not send this information to you to harass people. That's actually against YouTube's terms of service. And again, it's against the law, which, you know, I'll pull up right here. Why not? Let's pull it up. Uh, let's see, can I make this bigger? Okay, so you can get this information pretty much anywhere on the internet. I got it from a, what seems to be a government website. And it's basically about cyber misbehavior, right? And if you go down here to page 5, we can look at cyber stalking, right? Cyber stalking is a pattern of repeated and unwanted attention, harassment, contact, or any other course of conduct directed at a specific person that would cause a reasonable person to feel fear. So let me just highlight this here. Posting information or spreading rumors about the victim on the internet in a public space or by word of mouth. You know, rumors, you know, I'm not really afraid about because he's not, he doesn't have that much credibility. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be honest, like, low tier God isn't someone that most sane people believe, but it's those, you know, not sane people that you need to be worried about. Right? So... He is my cyber stalker because he posted, he doxed me, you know, he released my personal information that I never put out there. Low tier God is a cyber stalker to low tier God stream archive. He is a cyber stalker. Low tier God is a cyber stalker. Low tier God is a cyber stalker. So getting back to the email, I know that he has my information and obviously I don't want that released. So saying this, right, saying that I have only released my first name, I was doing this for like legal purposes, right? I was making it clear to him that, hey, look, this is all I released online. This is all you can say. If you say anything else, that's doxing. You know, anything else that is sent him through the counter notification, right? I was setting myself up for like a legal case that could possibly happen. And this is the proof that I informed him that only my first name was out in the public. And then he goes on to say, after reading this, so 
he did in fact read it. He read that my personal information was not released in any way, shape, or form online, right? So he says, after reading this, the fact that you think anything you did wasn't wrong shows how much of an incompetent bore of a human you are. You say because you blurred out certain things or didn't say certain things that your documentary was fair use. Slandering someone for 28 minutes as well as digging into the personal past without permission is not fair use, which it actually is fair use. Even if I did something of that manner, it's, it's still fair use. This is stalking and harassment amongst other things. You say I've said all these things myself. You link videos from four or so years age to gather unnecessary claims. What you did is not a service to me by any means. Like, do you think everything I do has to like bend to your will? Like, what the fuck, dude? And then he continues saying, it is defamation of character, slander, and puts my safety at, at risk. I deal with enough slander online daily. You do not have the right to make content like this, not only about me, but anyone that you make these videos about. And you're trying to turn a profit off these types of videos all at the expense of someone else's misfortune. As of tomorrow, I will be filing a civil suit against you. The documents will be uploaded to the pending YouTube case claim. I refuse to allow you to think it's okay to make content like this at the expense of others' well-being, safety, and psychological battles while you turn a profit and laugh. <laughs> I am taking this very seriously. This is harassment, and I plan to fight it to its fullest extent. Good day. Okay, okay, okay. So on the topic of slander and defamation, I'm sorry to derail this once again. Let me just pull this up. Okay, here it is, here it is. Um, yeah, so this is the article I found. I mean, like, there's been several court cases like this. Look, according to a new ruling from a New York court, a public figure's reputation can be so toxic that it is impossible to defame him. You've been an infamous figure. I didn't make you this way. You know, this is what you are. So even though I didn't slander him, I didn't defame him, even if I did, like, he would have a hard time to, like defending that because his reputation is so toxic. So, and then I go on to say, you know, still in the same string of emails, um, again, I urge you to give me a timestamp or quote that you have determined to be slander. Legal battles like these can take around two years and cost up to and over $100,000 from either of us, right? Which is true, but then again, he would just stand to make a lot less because this is way smaller than something done by, let's say, Disney. And then he goes on to say, how about you just forget about the video altogether? I am prepared to go legal. I deal with enough of this stuff daily. You kind of already did severe damage that I have to deal with and answer for, yet due to this video, someone else did a documentary on me, but they didn't mention anything the way you did didn't mention some alleged age, where I worked, again, he's mentioned where he's worked, where I went to school or anything personal, again, he said all this through his videos, they kept it gaming, and Rise and Fall is just for husbands. okay, so for like, because my videos are, you know, titled Rise and Fall, that's just like the series, the name of the series, okay, like people I make videos on are still rising, dude, like that is just purely the name of the series. What you did was remind people about topics in the past that I have to relive now yet again. Just did the video all together, everyone has seen it already and damage has been done. This is extremely immature. And then, you know, here I go saying like where I found this information and how like pretty much everything that I put into the video was through something he said. But yeah, let's go on to the last email he sent me in this thread. And then he goes on to say, the video was a troll in itself. You brought up topics from years ago, Viscam, Brawley, and personal topics. I shared on stream years ago, alleged molestation, my current whereabouts of where I work, I might work, try to even take jabs at me on my path to becoming an actor. The video was done, as I stated before, as a complete disservice to me of all things. I don't need people in my business uh, the way you try to deliver it. I don't want the video on YouTube at all in any way, shape, or form, and it's an invasion of my privacy. I have to live my life. You can't understand how it feels to be in my shoes. Trolls will never die in my case. 
but there's no need to give them another parade for no reason. I do not want or agree to have this video on YouTube. Okay, so at this point, I contact one of my friends who has been involved in legal battles. And what she basically tells me is, cut off all contact. You don't want to see yourself engaging with the plaintiff. You don't want to do any of that, right? If he's coming at you and if it's one-sided, the legal battles can look way better in your case. So I already made it clear that my public information is not online and that his constant mentions on a stream getting people to try to harass me is something that I don't want. And to basically, you know, just stop contact me, don't post my information online. I made that clear and from there I'm just like, okay, I'm going to listen to my friend's advice and not engage in any interaction with him essentially. You know, because in case this does go legal, I want to win this battle. So then two days later, not being happy with the outcome of our very friendly conversation, um, he goes on his live stream on July 19th and, you know, talks about me again. And I'm pretty sure somebody's going to clip this, but go ahead and clip it. This is what I, that June the King guy, if you're watching or if one of your people are watching, you have until literally Monday morning to send me another email letting me know that you're going to remove that video or else I'm filing that lawsuit. I'm giving you until, what's today, Friday? You have Friday to think about it, Saturday to think about it, mm -hmm. Sunday to think about it. You don't have Monday to think about it. After that, it's over for you. I don't care how much I get from the lawsuit. The point of the matter is, he has no business making a video like that about me. Period. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so he wants to pretty much weaponize his fan base or whatever, to get this video across to me. Let me tell you guys something. The reason why I didn't really trip off what uh, Sniper did is because the nigga was unique with his shit. And he was an ex-fan that was salty. So, like, I mean, a nigga wanted to make that video. I didn't even take no offense to that shit. Um, at least he, like, was somewhat creative of what he did. The nigga didn't, like, I don't, I don't fucking know. I didn't watch the whole video. But, I mean, I felt sorry for the nigga. He's black. You know, trying to, trying to. Oh yeah, yeah. If, if I got, if I forgot to mention, he's pretty racist. He doesn't like black people. He thinks Mexicans are all right, and anyone that's white is a biscuit. By the way, build his channel. Hey, maybe I helped him a little bit. I don't know. Yeah, that, that's it for that video. I mean. He's just pretty much repeating things he's already said and thinking that, you know, that I'll cave in. But, like, this is my integrity at stake. You know what I mean? Like, if he wants to do this legally, I was like, okay, I'll maybe crowdfund this or whatever. Like, this is going down, is what my mentality was. Like, three days go by, and he just sends me pictures of paper, pretty much. Right? Right? So initially this stressed me like out because it's like, whoa, you know, like he's doing something serious, you know? Um, but pretty much your lawyer, like these are the papers you'd use to file a civil suit, I guess. Um, I'm pretty sure normally like your lawyer is supposed to file these papers for you. Okay. <laughs> for some like, okay, so he sent this email to me on the 30th. And he said, expect to hear from my lawyer soon. This is not a game and I warned you. For some fucking reason, low tier God, I can't spell lawyer. Like, there's, there's been so many different ways he spelled it, but he's never spelled it L-A-W-Y-E-R. He's he spelled it layer. He spelled it layer, but I've never seen him spell it lawyer. Like, I don't know if he's dyslexic, which I feel like bad if he is. But for some fucking reason, he, he just can't spell lawyer. I don't know why, but you know, whatever. Anyways, this video isn't just about low tier God. This video is also about memeology, tipster, full bender, um, and all those people who helped me, you know, like I really appreciate their fucking help because I was going through like a really not fun. And, you know, um, I was just going like through a really shitty and stressful time. And like these like bigger content creators were just there to help me. Memeology uploaded, um, a video about the situation and pretty much what happened and how Lotary God was 
trying to intimidate me, right? And I got like so much support and you know, that, that should help me like mentally. Tipster uploaded a video, he, he continued to upload videos, whatever, he, he got into like contact with me and it was just like so fucking cool to talk to him. And here is someone, a public figure, like another public figure on my side, like that shit was fucking cool. Also Fullbender, who's dealt with, um, Fullbender TV, who's dealt with low tier God for a very long time. Like dude, just like going into voice chats, uh, like, you know, messaging him to like through Discord, like that dude's like really cool. So yeah, anyways, before Low Tier God sent me the email about him contacting his lawyer, um, you know, my video was finally restored, thank God. Like, I got this email and I was like, finally, like, really happy. I was like, thank God. You know, I really do wish that this ended here, but as we all know, it did not. And this next video that I'm going to show you guys right here that took place August 1st, 2019, um, is where he dropped my state. You know, he, what he's doing right now is he's slowly and progressively releasing my personal information in order to try to harass me enough to take the video down. So, you know, let's watch. Don't question me about stupid ass videos. There's no such thing as a documentary about me because you got to know me to do a documentary about me and nobody knows me enough. The only, the only person that has all the information to do a document about me is Dela Cruz and Fanatic and Tech and Tim. Outside of that, no fucking biscuit for That's a straight up bitch that would get dealt with in person. Would never be able to find out some fake information about me off speculation. So just know that shit. Fake information about s on specul- Like, dude, what the fuck is he even saying? He's been saying the same shit, like, for how many days? Like, 16 days at this point? Like, damn, man. That's a straight up bitch that would get dealt with in person. So you probably can't hear it because I censored it, right? But he said my state of residence, which is like, it's still minor, but it's still like, okay, you know, he's getting there. Um, and <laughs> get dealt with in person. I, I also have to censor the chat because people are repeating my, uh, my state of residence, which is great. You know, his doxing is effective. I know there's a fake documentary uh, shooting false information about me online. Uh, let's all flag that video as a collective hole for harassment and bullying. And I know that works because um, for a fact, when I first put up that Momo video, my shit got taken down for bullying. Did you guys know that? And I had to come out with an edited version. Ma, somebody, put a, somebody put a link to that fake ass video. Now he's sending people to brigade my video. That is, that's great, dude. That's great. Matter of fact, let's not even give it no attention. It's no big deal. I'll take care of it myself. Okay, okay. Well, I mean, you already doxed me, dude, and you already told people to, to uh, <laughs> go flag my video and mass. But okay. And I think that's, um, yeah, that's it for this clip. Let me pull up this other video 10 days later. Um, within this time period, I thought things were finally over. I thought I could, like, relax and breathe and, like, just chill out. <laughs> I thought nothing was going to really happen after a stressful couple of weeks. And he goes again and streams this. Coward ass nigga, man. If somebody hits you up personally and tells you to remove the video. He threatened me in the same line right the same well, i guess paragraph that he asked me to remove that video and he did that after he already took my video down and threatened to get my channel removed via abuse of the copyright system there's no way i'm going to do something because someone's trying to intimidate me right if i like flop to that that just shows that anyone that wants me to bend to their will would try to harass me in some way and they'll work I i'm not doing it you know i, I gotta have some like mental fortitude here And you still trying to make money off of it? Come on, my dude. You think I'm going to let you get away with it? You got a little bit of clout now, but that's cool. Like I said, I'm taking this shit very serious. All right? Very serious. That's all I'm going to say about it.
As soon as my shit pulls up, we'll say his name on stream. He wants to see my fucking name on stream. After going on like several rants about how he hates people releasing his government name that he released himself, right? Whatever. He's trying to release my name that he knows because he said that he read my email isn't available pretty much anywhere online, right? He's using the copyright system, right? YouTube's copyright system to get my information and harass me. And it gets much worse after this, but you know, we'll stay on this topic. Oh yeah, and of course I'm recording all these streams because I'm anticipating a lawsuit, right? I'm gathering evidence, I have to. You know, he's threatening something, so I'm like, okay, let me gather all the evidence I can so I can win this. So. Because we can make fake documentaries. Fake documentaries. Right? There's nothing against this law. There is, actually. It's called uh, Cypher Stalking. There it is. There, there's my name. There, 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 there. Yep, there's my name. Um, so he didn't say it, but he typed it in his chat and on his live stream, so you know everyone can see it. Fantastic. And he's feeling really good about himself. Look at him. He's feeling great. Man, this is... <sighs> can't afford a lawyer. One of the dumbest things anybody could say. You can't afford to go green in my chat for four ninety nine a month. That's why you got banned. Next. And there you have people also repeating my name in the chat. That's great. Yeah, so that's the end of this clip. Ugh, oh, man. At the surface, he released my name. Right, that's what everyone's saying. But in the background, he's actually already released all of my personal information that I put in the counter notification. And the reason I know this is because through my email and other ways to, of contacting me, I was getting harassed by his moderators, right? People who he has given a rank in chat, people who he associates with. He gave them my information, right? In order for me to be harassed. Because, you know, he can't do it himself. He doesn't want to get in trouble. But, like, he already dogs me, like, in public. And honestly, like, at this point, I wanted to be done with it. I was just, I was just like, defeated. And I was, you know, ready to finally delete the video. I was just, I wanted this to be over with. You know, I was just so mentally exhausted of, like, this mess. You know, like, waking up, like, fucking anxious as shit. So, on... August 14th, 2019, I get like, I'm getting so many Discord messages, whatever, like people like supporting me and stuff. And one of these like people, it's like, his name is Psychros and it's like, he just seems like a really chill dude. And then he tells me like, he's a lawyer. So I'm like, oh shit. It's like, dude, can you give me like advice of like what's going on or whatever the fuck is happening? I'm um, like, what should I do? You know, like legally. And he gave me some pretty good advice and you know, like he helped me like de-stress during like a time of much stress, right? We were just like talking back and forth, like we're playing Minecraft, like just chilling out. And like one day, like one of these days I just wake up and I'm just like fed up with all this harassment. Like I'm just fed up with like all of it, dude. And I just like go up and call him and then I'm just like, I'm fucking like venting how fucking stressed I am and how like, how bad I want to delete this video. Like I just, I just I'm like, dude, I'm just gonna delete it. And, he's, and then like, you know, he, he, um, he really just showed me reason and like, you know, gave me a reason like not to give up, which is like, it was great. Right. Like this, this like lawyer friend of mine, like he just helped like so much like mentally and like helped me understand the law and all that stuff. And you know, I, I want to give back to him. So a couple of months back, he was in a pretty serious car accident and he set up a GoFundMe. So I want to go ahead and plug that, you know, like donate whatever amount you're comfortable with. I'll go ahead and put like the GoFundMe. Oh, let me get this bigger. Um, I'll go ahead and put the GoFundMe within the description of my video. So yeah, this video isn't just about low tier God. It's also about the people, you know, help me along the way too. Um, yeah. So anyways, it gets, it gets much worse from here. <sighs> so tipster, um, he sent me a screenshot of one of the comments he received in his video, right? It's one of low tier God's moderators putting my personal information in the comments. Of course, tips are, you know, deleted it, but this is something that was just pretty much happening all happening all over the place, showing clearly that he gave his moderators, my personal information, you know, to harass me with, I believe four days later, he went on live stream again, 
to talk about me because he loves doing that, so. Let's watch it from here. I was watching a video, some punk ass nigga talking about what this punk ass coward June the King did. Talk He's talking about Tipster's video, by the about way. About his fair use. We're going to see how much fair use it is, period. If it's fair use, take the yeah. ads off the video, you broke fuck. Trying to make money off niggas by fucking sitting over here, sitting on your fucking ass, talking about people who are light years better than you in life. If that's what fair use is, I don't know what the fuck fair use is. He doesn't. He, he really doesn't. Believe. He really doesn't. Like, see, I mean, let me go back to that. I just want to hear it again. But a bunch of these niggas actually believe that. What that. the fuck fair use? What fair use is? I don't know what the use is. I don't know what the fuck fair use is. Is I don't know what the fuck fair use is. Is I don't know what the fuck fair use is. Is I don't know what the fuck. I just like hearing that because it's the truth. He doesn't know what the fuck fair use is. Like, he's made that so fuck clear. Fair use is. But a bunch of these niggas actually believe that. That type of shit is fair use. So this is the same day. This is just a later part of that video, as you can see here. This video, right? If you can, I guess you can't really see, so let me make this bigger right now. You can see that it is three hours and 13 minutes long. The reason it's so long is because throughout pretty much all this time, um, he was doxing my personal information through his chat. You know, he made another account named June the King's Info, and it was continually throughout the night giving all my personal information, right? And what I'm talking about is my full name, my phone number, my email, my address. Just the things that were meant to be seen by lawyers' eyes only. It's like, of course... Of course, the only way he got this information was through the copyright dispute. There, there's just like no other way. And this video is so we're long. We're dealing with in 2019 where people think they can say whatever they want. That's what we're dealing with. Okay, so yeah, I, I can't react to this whole video, so I'll, I'll just go to the highlights. But it, it gets pretty fucking crazy. Unwanted exposure of certain personal things. I got a video coming for you guys, but in order to drop that video, I need these two most recent videos to hit 10k. That's f Do you guys like how he begs his subscribers for more views? Isn't that great? I mean, that that's what any rational YouTuber does. It's like, I'm going to hold this content from you guys until you guys view bought me enough. You know? Yeah. Funny how when videos come out ridiculing me, they get more views than my actual shit. Because his content isn't, it's just boring. Like, in my own opinion, his videos, like sitting through so many hours of research, his videos are pretty damn hard to watch. Is if you're going to drop a video about me, don't use anything about me. No pictures, no videos, no nothing. Just, just use your best knowledge and try to see if people are interested. But we know these people, um, <laughs> these people that call themselves news broadcasters. He's talking about Tipster. So pretty much what he's saying here is, hey, if you want to release a video about me, don't use evidence because that makes me look bad. That God. information in that video is false. Um, my whereabouts are exposed in there. Um, yeah. They're not. They're, they're exposed through your own videos, by yeah. the way. And it's unfair to innocent lives walking around. It's unfair for people getting up out of their bed thinking that they're going to go to work, or go no. to the gym or go to Walmart or, or go here and go there. And then some idiot drops a video or picks on the wrong person and does something and it makes that person go haywire. Mm -hmm. Now, So I got to address this. He thinks me and my video, right? The video just discussing pretty much things that he'd like hit, that he's done through his um, career on YouTube, I guess, right? things he's done through him, his experience in the fighting gang community, right? He thinks all this is causing a big uproar and like harassment, right? He, uh, what it really is, it's two things, you know, it's first is the Streisand effect. And if I recall correctly, um, Barbara Streisand, someone took a picture of her house and she tried aggressively to get that picture removed. 
And what that did is it got more attention to this picture of her, like of her house because people were, were like, why, why is he trying to get like this picture removed? So maybe initially, like you know, several people saw the picture of her house, but then after like this big old fucking thing she caused, suddenly everyone was like looking at that picture, trying to find out like what the fuck is wrong. So, in her trying to remove this image. It got him more popular because he continually continually harassed me. It got more attention to the video, and the second reason is because he is an infamous figure. Um, normal sane people don't like him. You know, I think I don't think that's a controversial statement, but they don't like him as a person. They don't like his attitude. They don't like his opinions. That's been known for a very long time. So my video accelerated his growth essentially. And now, anything that happens, he blames it on my video, right? Anything bad that happens, he blames it on me. It just whatever. It's fucking June the King's fault that pretty much anything bad that happens to him, he blames on my fucking video, dude. It's like, no, it's not my video. My video was just a reflection of you. you you're doing all of this. You're, you're making this, this big fucking shit for, like, everyone to see. Just, like, stop. Instead of that person... <laughs> that started the shit getting fucked over. You got a bunch of innocent people- Oh, I got fucked over. You know, losing their lives over fucks like this guy. You know? I got a video dropping everybody. Every time we stream, we're gonna flag that shit collectively. It's not fair nice. use. Um, I'm never gonna use. let this go because it's bigger than just me at this point. I'm gonna take care of it though. I'm not gonna let up on this nigga at all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pressing charges, suing, everything. Every time I come on stream, I'm going to talk about it. Because I want to let you niggas know that I'm serious. Oh, yeah, yeah. I am totally the one that is obsessed with him. You know, I am the one who goes on every single one of my live streams and talk about him. That That's me. That is, that is totally me. There is no... You know what? You know what's misleading, too, is there is no rise and fall. There is no fall. What kind of fall of LTG? I'm more popular than I've ever been. Let's make. Okay, look, look, look at these comments. Let me look, look at these comments. Um, get him posting LTG's address and personal information isn't doxing at all, though, right? I never posted low tier God's personal information. I didn't post his address. The only thing I said was his name once in the video, which I since then removed which he has said like many more times in many other places right jesus christ Ugh. make sure we got 400 people in here if you're in here for me i need everybody in here for me to flag everybody in this bitch that fucks with me we gotta flag this nigga's video every day for harassment and bullying enough flags will have that video taken down on top of me uh suing the fuck out of this dude taking any type of type of legal action i'll be able to take i'm talking to lawyers and everything throughout sure. the day as we speak i'm not just talking out of my ass i know this dude thinks he's getting away with it and it's not serious but i'm not letting this go for the sake of innocent human beings sold out i mean you got to remember these people do things for money at the end of the day that that billion that he has collectively with beyonce that's that's his money at the end of the day he's taking care of his I don't know why you niggas was worshiping Jay-Z in the first place. Oh, here it begins. Um, you guys can't really see it because, you know, I, I censored it. But, you know, here is, in, you know, in front of 421 people, my name, my address, my email for some fucking reason, and my phone number. Spanned by Jew and the King's Info. This is when it started. 918 um pm august 19 2019 on his live stream right like okay if it was just like this one random person ban him cool done but it's not the only reason it got the only reason and the thing is people are talking about he won the copyright war right the way youtube worked there's my there's my info typed in the chat again he didn't ban him no one banned him i guess None of his many, many mods that paid to become his mods did not ban this person leaking my personal information. When you flag a video and somebody does a uh, counterclaim, then basically you got to go to court within a week 
to submit papers on this dude. So obviously it's a bigger process than a week. So they allowed the video to go back up after seven days. He didn't win anything. It's just, I didn't do it to a corny ass YouTube. The reason it's done like that is because you're supposed to get the files together, then file a DMCA. You're not supposed to file a DMCA, then try to get everything together. You know, like what a same person would do. Standards. Oh, I, don't, I wonder what would make somebody like Lazarus get triggered enough to show. I wonder what happened. Maybe something happened, right? I keep telling you guys to stop provoking these people. Everybody's not me, man. Not everybody can fucking sit here and... Yeah, mods, you don't got to delete shit. I'm not going to sit over here and uh, <laughs> and feel sorry. They don't, yeah, mods, please don't delete my public doxing of this guy's information. He's, he's fucking encouraging it. You know he gave this information out to his mods or whatever bot he has, like, spamming my personal information. I mean, he's completely complicit in all this. Hold on, let me see if um, this guy wants to play. I know he said he wanted to run a set. Let me send him a DM on Twitter. I can't help what's being typed in my stream. I don't know he what's can. going on. Um, an hour of it. We he can definitely that ban channel, the, that one Trust account. Me, take care of it. Repeatedly giving my information away. Information that he knows is valid because I'm he got through the man, counterclaim. Dude, information that he knows is valid because he gave that information out in order for it to be doxxed. Through his live stream, man, like, the if you're going to dox me, there's, like, way smarter ways to do this besides this. But, of course, he use, he's using his own platform to dox me because that's the biggest avenue he has. Check. Well, what else is new? <sighs> nah, he didn't say my address, but if you look at the... I didn't say his address. You fucking see that? Um, If you look in the comments, a lot of people were doxing my address and... I saw one person post his personal information, and you know what I did? You know what I did? I fucking deleted it within, like, minutes that it was posted. Because this guy wants to make a check. He wants to make a check off, uh, off my name. Now my life is in danger. And now my information is getting spammed more aggressively. I'd say I don't know, man. Like once I said, every I'm drop a three seconds called, in the chat now. Um, addressing the internet three. Shit, doxing people does cost lives. Now niggas know where I live. And even more people are going to get curious because this nigga said my shit in the video. This nigga gave 500,000 people my whereabouts. And I got to worry about that shit. I could be, uh, I could be killed at any moment now because of... Be okay. So because I said his real name on my video that he's repeated multiple times that somehow through his mentality allows him to give away all my personal information in order for me to potentially be killed you see he's explaining the seriousness of doxing and yet he's still doing it which, which is like it's fucking crazy like so he understands how bad it is yet he is completely involved he's he's actually doing what he says I'm doing, right? This is insane. Round one. Yeah, look, this isn't bullshit. Like, an hour and 25 minutes into, like, into his live stream, my information is still being continually posted in the chat by one account, right? And at this point in time, right, I'm getting, like, emails or whatever just messages on like my private avenues um, saying that low tier God is doxing me along with other messages of people threatening me. Low tier God knows this and he is perpetuating this and nothing's being fucking done about it. Right. I've, I've tried contacting YouTube's live chat. That's what I was doing at this time. I was contacting YouTube's live chat in order to get visibility on this live stream and get it shut down. I'll explain what happened with that after we deal with this. I can't help what's being typed in my stream. I don't know what's going on. Um, an hour of it. We not worried about that channel, man. Fighting what? I'm not, I don't know what's going on in my chat. I'm looking at my goddamn screen. I'm streaming. I don't know what the fuck's going on. I can't stop people from doing shit. There's bots in here. There's everything.
I found it. Okay. At this point in time, right, it is about two hours into my doxing. YouTube hasn't done a fucking thing, right? YouTube has not done a fucking thing. And I'm going to show you my logs, right? I'm going to show you proof that I contacted YouTube about, about this live stream and how useless they fucking were throughout all this. Um, someone that was really useful, and it's kind of really unexpected out of, like, <laughs> um, Keemstar saved me. Keemstar, fucking Keemstar saved me through all this. Let me, let me just make this bigger. You see at the very bottom, bottom left? That is drama alert saying, damn, what the fuck did I do? Uh, so Keemstar got banned, right? Let me make this smaller again. So right now, basically the smaller online community is on fire. Um, I think Augie RFC was live streaming too about the whole situation going down. There was a lot of shit just going fucking down talking about this, trying to get this shit like shut down. Oh, is, is these niggas really banned Keemstar? Come on now. <laughs> they banned Keemstar, by the way. Unban that guy. Yeah, and like, he's definitely afraid because now, like, a really big channel who has easier access to YouTube is witnessing this fucking doxing. Right? So he's, he's fucking quaking right now. Why the fuck would you ban Keemstar? The fuck? And then Keemstar so asks, what happened? I guess maybe you're here because, like I said earlier, um, I would consider you the originator of this news that, channel. Yeah, shit. that's why he's here. That's why we got a totally. bunch of people Not because I was being fucking exactly nice. what you He's nervous. You gotta expect a lot of people to be copycats. And, you know, magically, like, none of my information is being doxxed anymore. I don't, I don't, I don't see it. Magic. Characters and shit. 50 50 stream that they don't like. Yeah, so I believe Keemstar left the chat. So basically, Keemstar was just like popping in there to be like, hey, you know, like, we're watching you, dude. And that stopped the doxing. So thank you, Keemstar, for stopping my doxing. So yeah, like, a lot of people were discussing and talking about this situation in general, like, technicals, um, tipster. Memology, Full Bender, just like all these other channels are just like it was really good to have some support during such a shit time that just kept getting worse. The situation just kept getting worse. And I'll show you how hopeless I felt like throughout all this. So let me pull some things up right here. So the first image I want to show you is um, basically this. I tweeted out on August 11th, hey, at Team YouTube, right? I've just been doxxed by one of your YouTube partners, can I get some help here? So this wasn't the doxing that I just recently showed, it was when he said my, well I guess typed my name on stream. They never responded. I mean, this tweet got decent traction, I guess, 300 likes, 8 quote tweets, 70 retweets, but, you know, nothing. And not to mention the other people discussing it. So let me show you this email again on the 11th, whenever he just released my name that I sent to YouTube. I, I uh, filled out a privacy complaint, which is basically whenever someone releases personal information, whether on purpose or an accident in a video, YouTube gives you 48 hours to remove it. But, you know, low tier God already did the damage he intended to do. Right, so he released my name on live stream. I think like a day later, he deleted the live stream. So it's like, okay, the live stream has been deleted. And then um, YouTube tells me, let's see. Hello, we are unable to identify a violation of our privacy guidelines in the content that you reported. For more information regarding our policy guidelines, like I don't fucking goddamn know, uh, please visit and then gives you the guidelines. We would encourage you to try to resolve any issues directly with the creator of the content in question. Some users list ways they can be contacted on their channel. For more information, blah, 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 and then just a bunch of bullshit. It's horrible. I'm pretty sure this is just like an automated response, though. So. Okay, and then this email, again, uh, this was sent August 20th, 2019. Um, so, I did two things here. I sent a privacy complaint through 
a form and this is the response that I got. Hello, in order for us to have a proper record of your request and when appropriate to provide accurate notification to the content uploader, we must receive your claim in a specific format. Please blah, 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 resubmit this. Like here I'm saying uh, my home address, my phone, uh, my other information, my full name was leaked, right? And here is my complaint. You know, my address, name, uh, number, and name, and everything is being leaked and nothing's being done about it. I tried the support chat and they haven't helped. For the love of God, remove this person from YouTube. Yeah, the support chat didn't help. Um, I was on there for a very long time. I really want to get the message across that low tier God should be banned. For me alone, he's doxed me slowly on at least three separate occasions, right? For me alone, he should be banned. So hopefully now with the release of this video, someone at YouTube will notice this. It's just exhausting. It's exhausting for this to happen to you. And it's really exhausting to see this happen to other people, which we'll get to later in the video. So after that stream, things mostly died down. Mostly because I'm pretty sure Low Tier God knew that Keemstar was watching, right? His team was on him. And if like if he tried to release any information like, like that again, then, you know, they'd be on him. And since then, he hasn't released my info from what I can tell, but he has still talked about me a lot. Um, I mean, just like three days later, he had the goal to upload this video <laughs> playing the fucking victim after he docks me. <sighs> Anyways, guys, I've been recording this for about seven hours today, and I'm pretty fucking exhausted, so... I'll see you guys again tomorrow. So, um, I got about five hours of sleep and I'm back. Welcome to day 676. So did you guys like that intro of me getting into the chair, putting my headphones on, you know, drinking water, getting the mic ready? The truth is, um, I started recording, I hit play, I was already sitting down, and I stood up, then went to sit back down for the shot. Which is pretty funny because it's pretty obvious when people do that. Your computer isn't always recording all the time, which is exactly what happened here. Let me get this bigger, actually. So, um, man, three days later after, you know, LTG docs me, he uploaded a video called addressing the internet three because he's done stupid things like this that you know pissed off the internet three times already i mean there's more after this but you know they don't really have to deal with me so um yeah let's let's watch this oh you gotta love that music you too we are back unfortunately on these type of events with another video. Now me, my mental stability, I would say is superb. It's <laughs> intergalactic. Why? Because okay. I am one of the most hated, sought after, researched, and ridiculed amongst other things. Okay, honestly, low tier God, his video took me like 40 hours to research. He is one of my least researched videos, and that's why he's one of the shortest videos. You know, you know, I made sure that information is accurate, but there really wasn't much to research. He just pretty much said everything about him openly. It was pretty easy to get all this information that I put in the video from him. One of the most hated, most searched, people were acting like they can't get enough of me, yet Google me every freaking day. Now let's talk you know, it's called being a public figure. Things you post online, you post on Twitter, stream, whatever. That's, you're a public figure. You're putting yourself online. Why would you keep streaming if you don't want the fucking attention? I don't fucking get it. It's crazy. If people were treated with some sort of form of respect daily, when it's not an abundance of bullshit, maybe they wouldn't go nuts. You guys seen what you did to somebody else. I'm not going to talk about it. I see a lot of... He just did. You guys know who he's talking about. He talks about this person all the time, which is pretty fucked up because he's just using him to make himself look better. It's horrible. People trying to do it to me. 
You guys are putting my address all over the internet. For some reason, you're obsessed he did with my that. government name, which is not consistent for the simple fact that I'm known as Delon Sparrow. You don't know how it feels to deal with the backlash that you provided. Luckily for you guys, luckily for You know why a lot of us don't have to deal with the backlash that Low Tier God is talking about? It's because we're not fucking idiots on the internet. We don't dox people. Well, the majority of us don't, right? Um, we don't go and harass people through email, Xbox Live. We don't get banned five times or what was it, like three times on Xbox Live by three different Xboxes in order to keep playing online. Get banned on Facebook, get banned on Twitch, get banned on Twitter like three times. Like, that that's not normal. It's, it's not normal. Myself, I'm a very mental and tuned person. I'm the type of person that if I was to smoke weed, it would have a reverse effect because my mind is already in another galaxy. It's a damn shame that every day I wake up, I have to deal with the hate, the tyranny from shit that happened four or five years ago. People change. Alcoholics don't stay alcoholics. Drug addicts don't stay. Okay, okay, I agree. People do change, right? That's something that happens. That's great. You know, like at the end of my own video, uh, my documentary, right? I said, hey, look, there's a chance that this dude can, like, actually become maybe a sane person and, you know, maybe, like, beloved in the Street Fighter community if he just, like, chills out, doesn't dox people, doesn't harass people anymore. Cool, but as we see, well, as you'll see, about two years later still, he's, like, still doxing people. It's still happening. He hasn't changed, like, one bit. If anything, he's probably gotten worse. The doxing addresses, cops showing up to my fucking house. You guys figured out my mom's address, all types of weird shit? Is it really that fucking serious, man? Is it really that serious, or are you just fascinated? Okay, he does have a point there, like... Uh, I don't know how true it is, but he's saying people, like, send pizzas or whatever to his mom's address, and, you know, even his own address, and that, like... That's pretty fucked up, you know, that's what doxing does, and... It sucks, it sucks that it happened to him. It really does, especially like his fucking mom, dude. Like, his mom is not involved in any of this. Imagine raising someone for what, however old he is, 30 or whatever the fuck, um, ending up this kind of person, and then getting harassed by the people who hate him. Like, just fucking leave this dude alone. No, like, fuck, dude. Don't, don't do any of this. Don't dox. Don't harass anyone, for God's sakes. Don't be like low tier God. Okay. Where I used to work, where I work now. That video has actually caused a lot of people to actually try to show up. Okay, wait, 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 wait. So he just confirmed the validity of my claims through the video. He just said the information in that video was true, but then he also said there was false information and he didn't say what the false information was or even correct it in his own video called Addressing the Internet, where you're supposed to do this kind of thing, right? Where is this false information? God. In my workplace, address is being severely docked all over the internet. Gotta watch over my shoulder daily. Who knows? I'm accessible, I'm nothing but a human being. Anything can pop. But this dude sits back and thinks that it's funny while he collects ad revenue running ad. I never thought it was funny. Um, like I said, I stopped responding to Low Tier God because I was anticipating. A possible civil suit I also stopped responding because I didn't want to make this a bigger thing I wanted this to die out for my sake and for his sake right because if I you know kept making this a bigger thing telling continually telling the internet that he docks me one sure I might get some support but people might harass him more you know this is something that I really didn't want to fucking do I didn't want to make this damn fucking video but now because he keeps doxing people I have to because I need to get him banned off of YouTube or else things are gonna get worse for fucking everyone spineless coward and those are the type of people that are behind the internet that are provoking the people that you guys are scared of you're scared of Lazarus right how was that created so right there, he's talking about one of his mods that likes to uh, give death threats. You know, he's endorsing him basically in this video. He's endorsing one of his mods that likes to uh, point, or I guess brandish a gun in his videos in order to threaten trolls or whatever. If you want it, like, I don't, I'm not here to give, like, these mods attention. This is about low tier god. And if you want to see more about this, I believe Tommy C has done a few stories on him. Um, you should probably check out Tommy C too. He's a really cool channel, like... From what I've seen on his streams, he seems like a really chill dude, so, you know, you should check him out, too. The reason 
that I can tell that low tier God gets away with a lot of his doxings, right? Is he streams his doxings live, you know, on his live stream. And he just deletes the video right after. He deletes his live stream right afterwards because whenever you submit a privacy complaint on YouTube, essentially what happens is you get 48 hours to remove the offending footage. And well, low tier God just deletes the streams so YouTube can't really look into it because he knows what he's fucking doing when he doxes someone. But the truth is, after like the second he doxes someone, the damage has already been done. You know, you can't take back a person's information from the internet. He's already put that information out there. He deletes the video. He gets away with it. <sighs> Thank God it's over. Thank God. Man, that was rough to sit through. Ah, man. You guys are gonna get a kick out of this. Like, why the fuck would I be cool? I still got beef with that nigga. We gonna handle that shit, though. Talking about me. Don't ask me about that nigga again. Somebody like him would run for me in person. And he wouldn't Why be able would to run for me because I would catch his pipsqueak ass, choke him out till he begged me, begged me for life. Do you like these threats that Low Tier God is making about me on YouTube? On the platform YouTube where it is against the rules to fucking do this? I mean, yo. Th this is pretty tame. So far, what he said is pretty tame compared to the rest of the video. Then right on his last inch of breath, I would literally say, so you still, so you still gonna research me, huh? Like, no, with the LTD, please, no, uh, oh, oh. And I'm just still choking him while he got his laptop, while he deletes the video. We're gonna get that shit taken down. I'm not worried about it. Niggas like that are cowards. So I can show the rest of this video because it gets pretty gruesome and disgusting. And I want to get this video monetized, right? But I'll link this video in the description so you can see all the fucked up shit he says. So this next clip I'm going to show you guys, as you can see, uh, was taken on January 17th, 2020. Uh, that's like four months, right? Four months after my doxing of four months since I'm pretty sure he mentioned me last um, on his addressing the internet part three video or whatever. I guess maybe like 15 days after he made that gruesome threat to and, you know, he's talking about me again. Again, I'm avoiding all contact. And again, he's mentioning me on his stream. So, let's watch. This nigga could get in if every last one of us filed a lawsuit or if somebody wanted to pull up to this nigga's crib and actually do ah, something. Ah, threatening me again. Cool. That's one of the stupidest things you can do and try to make a fake-ass career out of it. You're sitting on your ass hiding from the internet, making these fake-ass documentaries, making money off shit, Trying to, I guess, show people. Hiding from the internet. No, I, well, what, again, what I'm doing is collecting information for a potential lawsuit. I'm disengaging, right? I'm getting away. You are the only proponent to this controversy. You, you're, this, is, this is pretty much entirely one-sided at this point. You know, I'm disengaging. I'm not mentioning him whatsoever. I'm trying to get away from this mess. It's been four months. It's been four months, and he's still, like, talking about it. People's fake ass demises. Boogie's still getting money. I'm still getting money. Wings is still getting money. Anybody drop the documentary on, we're all doing better than this nigga, period. I guarantee you this. Well, actually, um, you know, and, uh, and, yeah. So he could try to make little chump change off our gracious fucking goddamn auras. Wait, 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 pause. Pause. Check this out, guys. So he doesn't like whenever you use someone else's content to make a video. He, he doesn't like it, right? He hates it. So, sorry to derail this again, but I, I, I have to show this. This is something that's pretty important. So, let's go to Chrome here, and let's search up Low Tier God. His channel's right there. Videos sort by most popular. And this right here, my friends, right here, look, is his most viewed video. This is his second most viewed video, which is, you know, it's purely his, no one else's content whatsoever, I guess. This is pretty much a meme. Again, look, other, he's using footage from other people. And, you know, I want this video to be the main focus of this argument. Check it out. I'm going to mute this because I don't want to get, you know, copyright struck, but... So right now, yeah, he's just doing a reaction, right? He's talking about it. This is all fair use. He's completely allowed to do this because this is what fair use is. You know, people are allowed to do this. It's cool. 
But since he doesn't like it, you know, this is something I'd like to mention. He is partaking in fair use. But he really, really hates it when other people partake in fair use too. I mean, this is the most popular video on his channel by far. By far. These other videos do not pale in comparison in views. Such a hypocrite. It's insane. Anyways, back to this. I looked down and my dick was gone. It was just okay, melting. Yeah, it was that, just a puddle it. of peanut butter that's and chocolate. That's it for this clip. Um, so uh, this next clip is quite a while later. This was taken, or I guess recorded, December 3rd, uh, 2020. So let's say six months ago. It's been a while. It really has been a while. And, and again, he brings me up. So let's watch. I don't bother none of these gay ass niggas. I live my life daily. And you got gay niggas on my dick 24 hours a day for no fucking reason. But then getting scared when the tables turn. You're going to pay me, bitch ass nigga. Pussy. Oh my god, LTG's doxing me. But you basically allude, tried to allude everything. You guys know after that After that video, okay, so I guess I cut it off too early. But you know, after that video, he's, he says the, he got harassed way more, uh, I think swatted or whatever. Um, again, it's the Streisand effect, and I really wanted to stop talking about this and just let this die out because I don't want anyone to be bothered in anymore. You know, and I still don't want to. I, I don't want to make this fucking video. I don't want anyone to be bothered. It's horrible. This is just a nightmare situation. So, you know, um, I tweeted at him because he decided I fi I'm finally making contact after all this time. I'm finally making contact again because I'm I'm frustrated. You know, I'm, I'm really frustrated that he bring me up after what, 11 months. So I'll show you that right now. Yeah, here it is. Whew. Yeah, so I tweeted at him after he did that live stream. I said, dude, I forgot about you a year ago and you keep talking about me. I can drop a video exposing everything, including the emails, which, you know, I just showed you guys like a, well, a little while back. You've broken enough rules to get your channel terminated and enough laws to end up in jail. Stop talking or give me more evidence. This tweet didn't get much traction or whatever. You know, my, uh, my Twitter isn't really like that big because I'm not very interactive in it. You know, I'm not very, a very active Twitter user, you know, I'm just not really motivated to use it at the moment, I guess, which is fine. Um, I'm also a pretty private person, right? I like to separate myself from my content. I like to have my personal life and my private life. YouTube is both, I guess, you know, it's fun. It's a hobby, but it's also work, right? I like to separate that from my life. So yeah, I tweeted at him and I thought maybe hopefully that would be the end of it. But I do believe there is a reason he was mentioning me again. Because in my DMs and on Twitter, right, um, I was talking to this channel that goes by Trevor Belmont. And he was also doxxed by Low Tier God. At this time, it was like, I think, man, two months back? I'll, I'll, I'll talk about it later in the video. And essentially, a lot of people were contacting me on Twitter asking like, oh God, what do I do? And I told them, just go to the cops, you know, if you can, if you have the money, if you have the time, file a lawsuit. I'm getting through this, you're going to get through this. Just like, try not to provoke him, you know, try not to make this whole situation worse. And some of the people I was talking to on Twitter, telling them how to like handle the situation, they screenshotted my messages, telling them what, what to do and how to avoid low tier God, essentially. And, um... There is also this, I guess, troll discord dedicated to low tier God. And they posted these screenshots of me talking about low tier God and how to, and how to handle doxing essentially. So one of the spies from that discord says, Hey, low tier God, June, the King is talking about you again. And then they're instigating. And I think that's what set low tier God off to talk about me publicly throughout this. I have been talking to people like privately about how to how to handle it, like this situation how to handle these doxings or whatever but i've tried to keep myself out of the public eye with this situation so now let me show you guys this video right here because they don't have no um, these niggas these niggas lives so this was recorded on february 19th 2021 three months ago so this is what low tier god has to say like i said it's coming to a halt 2021 youtube you're not going to be seeing videos like that. 
up and when I find them they're gonna be gone and they can't do fake counterclaims to pull them back up so um so I guess I forgot to mention uh, something low tier God does is if you look in the bottom right it says cam 30 he won't show his face on camera if he doesn't get thirty dollars in donations I mean there's there's much worse that I've covered in my documentary about the things he does on his live stream this this video is for the new things happening motherfuckers making videos of streaming my shit off bandy cams and phone record please kill yourselves nice telling people to kill themselves that's great low tier god nice also this is the year that june the king video will be gone too just to let you niggas know This was three months ago, by the way. Three months. So this is going to be the last year that fake documentary is up about me. That's it. All it is is I'm just waiting. So probably maybe by April, May, that video should be gone off. Yeah, so this is still ongoing. He said April, May, um, and it's May, right? And I kind of wanted to wait to release this video until like after May to be like, hey, look, nothing happened. But I think it'd be better to release it during to be like, look, this is still going on. You know, he still has plans up until right now. It, it is May when I'm posting this video. YouTube, anybody re-uploads it, it'll be taken down again. I'm at X8. So all my solidified guys, thank you for joining. You know, he has, like, pretty good taste in music. Like, the music that he chooses for his live streams is pretty good. I dig it. But, um, essentially what people believe his plan is, is he wants to, uh, copyright low-tier God. That, that is what he thinks will not allow anyone to post any of his videos anywhere. He just wants to copyright that name. And... <laughs> This is like, this is insane. Like, like I said on Twitter, it's like I'm dealing with a poorly written WWE character. Like, he tries to get low tier god copyrighted, which is like, okay, whatever. And while doing that, again, through the process, his public information is now, again, dude, available online. Right? You do have, like, dig deep for this kind of stuff. Um, that's... I'm not going to even show the picture. I'm not going to show anything, any, you know, any way you can find it. Cause I don't want people to find any of this bullshit, but I just want to like tell you guys, he doxes himself all the time. The things he does, the, the, he puts out his public information willingly online. So something about these videos too, right? Is whenever he talks about me on stream, you know, I'm just chilling. I'm doing whatever, playing PS4 with my friends. Um, I'll get like, five messages on discord on twitter like telling me yeah like, hey yo like low tier god talked to you about like talked about you again and i'm like dude oh my god it's the worst because now i have to record his stream while it's still live right go back and record it to make sure i have evidence for a potential like lawsuit or for like a future video which that future video is this video it's the worst because you know i'll be having a good day and then someone will be like hey low tier god and be like oh fuck he also messaged me on Twitter, but before I show you guys that tweet, uh, after he messaged me, he again, on a later date, hopped on his live stream and said this. Nigga stole my likeliness and got a million point five off a nigga with 60 fucking thousand subs. Also alluded, alluded to my personal life and a bunch of shit and trolling got even way worse since then. That's, That's your the own fucking fault. My God. Niggas think that I'm fucking playing though. Niggas think they go cute, still be able to upload me and all that kind of shit. Watch, 2021 is over. It is over 2021. At least I hope so. All right, watch him rage quit. It's gonna be funny. Stay watch, watch. Nigga fucking profiting off, trying to get, trying to get fake demise off niggas that's way more important to him in life. This nigga V shift twice in the corner and mashing buttons. I'm a blacklist. This I already knew what kind of match nice. this was going to be. Don't worry. You'll nice. never play me again. You stuck in silver for life. Doesn't matter if he does it with everybody. The fact of the matter is the nigga's whole channel is based off stealing people's shit, trying to get in people's business and trying to profit off the shit. That's bullshit. And I'm going to be... If he's talking about just like the documentaries, I've actually done way before the documentaries, right? I've actually um used to be... Let me, let me show you guys something. So here's my channel, right? Like... Okay, he thinks, he thinks still, after 
two years that I've only done documentaries, you know, documentaries. Um, as you can see here, sure, for the past, like, I guess two years, that's been like what I've been interested in, interested in as in making content for. But in reality, right? Like, look, I used to make RuneScape videos, you know, on a game called RuneScape, and they did pretty damn fucking decently on, for this game. You know, this online MMO that, that I still play. I love RuneScape, right? I mean, just look, 621,000 views. Even before I started making these documentaries, I already expanded my content into different avenues, right? I showed that I was able to, you know, experiment with different forms of content and find success. I mean, just look at whatever the fuck this video I'm making right now. This isn't really a documentary. This is a different style of content. And I don't know if it'll be popular, but you know, one can hope. I'm able to diversify what I like and sometimes find success. I'm really, really like lucky that I was able to find success in any of this actually. But for some reason, he only thinks that I've ever only made documentaries, which is just, it's wild. So really quick, I do want to make uh, two corrections that I know I got wrong in the low tier god video. And first is Street Fighter 2 came out for the SNES and not the NES. The second one is um, there's this, I think he's a professional Smash player that uh, goes by Anti. And in the video, I pronounce his name Anti. So, yeah. Already d that bitch ass nigga and let him know. I said, nigga, you better lawyer up. That video you put up in me is coming down 2021, nigga. Okay, this is like, as soon as I saw this clip, I was fucking pissed. I saw this in like the morning, you know, um, I, I had just woken up, I was ready for a good day, then, you know, someone said, hey, low to your god, I was like, fuck. You know, I, I already knew it was not going to be a good day. Let me show you guys. Um, so the second I pretty much saw this, I went on Twitter and I said, low to your god part two, you know? Potentially because I warned him in the past like stop bringing me up. You know, I want this this whole Whatever this is to be over with. I don't want to ever talk about you see you again. This is this is enough So I was frustrated and I posted whatever he DM me because I never responded to him I like I don't want this guy to message me I don't want any interaction because I fucking hate him and that's the truth so he says, just so you know, I'm coming for you legally because of your fake ass documentary. It has caused people to be dialed into my life beyond levels you can ever fathom. I warned you when the video dropped, you were doing too much. Your video has caused endless harassment on personal levels and I'm coming for you legally just so you know, whatever you made off me, I'm taking from you. And then he goes on to say, I will be the one that does not allow you to profit off others at your coward leisure. You are a talentless, faceless worm. Nice. I, I really think his lawyer, his, uh, I mean, his, sorry, sorry, his laywer, as you can see right here, his laywer would be happy to see that. So I tweeted this out and then pretty much immediately he DMs me again whenever I tweet this out on February 23rd. And he says, keep thinking this shit is a game. You know, like anything he's messaging me, like I'm making public now, you know, I kept those emails private, whatever. I'm trying to keep the situation like low, but he keeps fucking harassing me. And then he messaged me again. Like, look, like I said, layer up, pussy ass coward. And here I say, I'm pretty sure he meant to put lawyer, but maybe he's just concerned I'll catch a cold. The dude can't spell lawyer. I'm not sure if this is actually his Discord account, but it could be. Uh, and he popped in saying, found the rat's nest, which I said, get that ass banned because, and then I banned him because I think it's funny because he bans people on a stream and he says, get that ass banned. It's one of his catchphrases, which I pretty much just like threw back at him. Like if you're going to go into a public avenue like my discord and potentially harass my discord uh, members, I'm going to ban you. You know, that's, that's part of the rules of the discord. I'm not going to have you there. But yeah, yeah. He blocked me on Twitter, guys. This is a screenshot I took in, in case he tries to unblock me, but, um. Yeah, I've been blocked on Twitter. Uh, right now, I am incognito, as you can tell here, right? So we can actually see his tweet. And he says, this clown, J asterisk asterisk N, is tweeting screenshots for moral support out of fear. Like I said, playing with people's lives for a profit and personal life while you sit there talentless and you hide behind a screen proves you're a coward. This is not a game and I'm not treating it as one. 
And then, you know, I'm having fun at this point, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm fucking with him. Because I'm frustrated after two years, let's have some fun. And I just say, get ratioed. I, I didn't ratio him, I, I was pretty close, you know, I was off by 50, maybe not that close, but I thought it was funny. I thought it was pretty funny. And honestly, I can kind of see why people troll him a little bit, because I was having a fucking laugh. You know, I was laughing throughout all this. I was like, damn, this feels good. But, you know, in reality, it's pretty fucked up that people, like, bother him, like, so much. God dang, dude. Because I don't endorse trolling. You know, th there's some, like, lighthearted stuff that happens, but the line gets blurred, and people do some fucked up shit, and it's annoying. You know, I would never want to get trolled, uh... <laughs> I don't want other people to get trolled, but it's just like how the internet is. I'm not going to change the world by saying, hey guys, trolling is bad. But yeah, let's go back to his stream. From it is mine. A nigga thinks I'm joking. I know he got my DM too, you pussy ass nigga. I did, somebody it tweeted it out. Too. Yeah. You a fucking coward, bitch. Making videos about people way more important than your bitch ass while you sit behind the fucking computer like a faceless pussy, you bitch ass faceless, nigga. Faceless, yeah. Then crying about being doxxed when you tried to fucking counterclaim. Oh, you're not going to be able to counterclaim this bitch. Cried about being doxxed when I gave him my information in order for him to pursue me legally. Crying about him releasing my fucking information after he's complained so much about people accessing his public information, his information that he made public himself. I... It's hard to keep talking about this because it's so fucking insane. It, like, it's hard to believe any of this is real. It, it really is. It, like, what the fuck? I'm gonna take it down just for the fuck of it. What's up, what's That's what I'm saying. Niggas clipping and recording my streams right as I'm streaming to make videos. Not even making no money off of it. Y'all niggas not getting no money off this shit. You know, like, he has a point, like... If you record low tier god streams and you post them without any transformative content, you know, like, if I were to post this video, like, right here, right, on YouTube and not include, like, me or anything, just a raw video, then he would be 100% in his right to take it down because you're not adding anything to it, just kind of, like, just re-uploading his stream, right? Um, in that case, he does have an argument for copyright. So, in some areas, he does have an actual right to take down videos. This is pretty much where we are. And this is the part of the video where I get into the other people he's doxxed. Because at this point, you know, I've been talking to other people that he's doxxed and released personal information on. I've been trying to, like, tell him what to do. You, like, in this situation, you know, because it's not a fun thing to have happen to you, right? And I've told him, like, okay, if this shit keeps getting worse, I'm going to release a video. So maybe, hopefully, he'll get banned and he won't be able to weaponize his fan base. In order to harass people, he won't be able to release people's information at a wider scale and put them in potential danger. And there, I guess, what Low Tier God defines as troll channels. And while I believe some of the content these people make can be a nuisance, making a video, you know, making fun of how someone plays, does not warrant you releasing their personal information. Not to mention, these channels have, like, a thousand subscribers, you know, a hundred subscribers. They're really small channels that don't have access to the creators that I had access to because I had like 20,000 subscribers at, at the time. So it, it was easier to get in contact with other creators. So these guys are even more defenseless than I was whenever I got doxxed. I told them straight up like, dude, I don't like what you guys are doing. I, I don't like that you guys are trolling. I don't endorse any of this bullshit. I don't endorse your Discord server. But you know, I'll join it so I can get in contact with anyone that Low Tier God has doxxed. And maybe we can put some evidence together and hopefully get Low Tier God banned. Because I'm telling you, it's only a matter of time until he doxxes someone again. Sure, he might go to like Facebook Gaming, but he won't have as large as an audience as he does on YouTube. So yeah, welcome to part two of the video. This pretty much ends the June saga for now, which I'll pick up at, I guess, the end of the video. But right now, specifically, I want to focus on three different people. And these people are um, Trevor Belmont, Vault Rep, and Yoet Sal. So these are the three other people that Low Tier God docks after me. So what I did is I got into a Discord chat with Trevor Belmont, his brother, and pretty much talked to them about this whole situation. I asked them if I could record it. They gave me the permission. Um, afterwards, I talked to... 
I talked to Vault Rep, and again, I asked for his permission to record. He said yes, I can use the information he's given me for this video, and I'm going to show you pieces of those interviews as I describe their situation, essentially. So the first person I'm going to start off with is Vault Rep. I believe he got doxxed late 2020, which I'll show the interview right about now. So he has my information, um, actually. And he ha I wouldn't say he's doxxed me publicly, but he has doxxed me to his Discord because people have come to me with my information directly. Um, but yeah, once he struck, when I first started, he struck two of my videos, which I countered with my, my information. Um, so he, uh, has my actual information based on that. So something I quickly wanted to say about these claims is it's hard to prove that low tier God essentially doxed him on his discord. It's hard to prove through these comments without me really getting his personal info. Right. Um, but the thing is, I believe him. I really do believe him because he did show me the picture of the counterclaim and I've had the exact same strategy of doxing done to me. You know, I've had my own personal information posted in the comments through his moderators. You know, I've had my personal information shared through his Discord. So this is why I believe that Vault Rep is absolutely telling the truth. Because, I mean, Low Tier God has doxed people before. It's, it's, it's no secret. I absolutely believe Vault Rep. I, I, I do. I really do. That's his go-to defense. Um his way of feeling emboldened is oh now that you've counter claimed uh i have access to your information and i'm not sure if he believes that oh yeah you shouldn't have done that because look what i've got you know i've got your information I, like, it's, it's not a situation in which he got it by his own merits it's you know us trying to follow the law so over here i told basically vault rep my strategy I asked him, like, what do you think about me essentially blowing this information up so YouTube can see all these rules that Low Tier God's broken, all these laws he's broken. So if you guys can go on Twitter, you know, share this video, share my video, which I'll be posting on my Twitter and, you know, links right there. That would really help to get YouTube to finally see what's been going on. Because as Vault Rep is about to explain, we're pretty much seeing that Low Tier God is too small of a channel for YouTube to really notice him and all the rules he's broken. So if we show all these rules that Low Tier God has broken and how Low Tier God is still not banned from YouTube, it's going to give YouTube some pretty bad publicity. And they don't really care about people on their platform. They really just care about bad publicity. So if this gets big enough, then YouTube will have to take action and finally remove Low Tier God's channel, which is something that all of us in this call really wish that would have happened, you know, because then we wouldn't have gotten doxxed. Yeah, and I, I believe it stems from marketing and PR. Because when it comes down to it, Low Tier God's a 60,000 sub channel. He doesn't have a play button. He's, he's, not, he's not in the public eye, as it were. So if he messes up, it doesn't hurt Google's brand and it doesn't hurt YouTube's brand. So I think it stems from the fact that he's so small, they don't think they have to pay attention, which is, which is not conducive of a successful brand uh, brand relationship with the public because if it caught on if Kotaku or Jezebel or something picked up the story YouTuber low tier god threatens children on stream Google's gonna have a shit storm but yeah he does uh, on his stream he tells people to kill themselves he uh, potentially children whatever um, he says pretty some pretty fucking nasty things I personally don't care to say whatever it's just that whenever you start putting people in real danger for the things you say that's where like I draw the fucking line to cut it down short essentially Bob rep made you know videos about low tier god low tier god DMC the videos like he did mine uh, low tier god got Bob reps information and posted it through his discord to harass Bob rep it wasn't really done through a live stream or anywhere too public but it was still given to other people in order to harass him so he would stop making content. Again, this is going off my trust in him. This is going off my experience. It's hard to really get pictures of his Discord assuming that they're not doctored because it's one thing to record a stream, but it's much easier to doctor uh, Discord messages. But I really trust Vault Rep in this because I've been through the same thing, so I believe him. 
And now we're going to go through Trevor Belmont's story, which I believe his doxing happened the same month of Vault Reps, but his was much more public. All right, here we go. Hi. Yeah, so uh, pretty much I'll, I'll start. Uh, I mean, starts as any any other story, right? Uh, we're watching YouTube one day. Uh, we see the the scomp video and some troll videos and you know we're thinking oh this shit's hilarious right um we see that this guy is on twitch every so often then disappears off of it so you know we're still on troll channels like you know watching them laughing our asses off uh so this guy just keeps lying about things saying oh he's not this this age this and this and that so trevor uh the younger brother he decides oh like you know that's why not just expose them. Yeah, I made a I made a video called Curb Your Birthday Lies. And so pretty much uh he got a donation. And basically what happened, he's like, Oh, uh, who told you guys it was my birthday? Like he was trying to like play it off, like saying like, Oh, no one knows what my what my birthday is and whatnot. So I can't believe LTG actually gonna time me like that on his birthday. First off, it wasn't my birthday. Second off, I never disclosed to anybody on stream or anybody in general what day I was actually born. So uh, I just thought, I'm like, wait, that's kind of weird because he even, he, like him himself, he even said like, oh yeah, this day is my birthday. And then he got a donation, like a birthday donation, like a year back, you know, get, like they, I think it was a, one of his mods uh, sent him a chunky pledge and, and pretty much like, it's like, oh, thank you for the, for the birthday money and whatnot. And then um, I had, um, I had a video as well. Um, was it the mukbang video he made with uh, his, his ex-girlfriend, Elena? And pretty much, he he stated himself that he's a Scorpio as long as uh, as well as you know she's a she's a Scorpio and she said like the day she was born and the day that he was born so it's like you gotta remember too we're both Scorpios on top of everything like her birthday is literally a day before mine yeah my birthday is eighteen because it was a nineteen you know I I, I kind of like put like two and two together I'm like wait like you're lying about your birthday but like we have evidence of you saying it as well as other people saying it as well and the thing was when that happened when that video came out he ended up uh, sending a counterclaim to trevor so trevor put uh the address he put uh the phone number the email whatever you know the regular counterclaim uh process so we're thinking okay worst thing he's gonna do is like you know take us to court try to take down the video but it is fair use we're using the video in fair use it was transformed to show that, okay, this person is lying and we made it as, you know, it's just a troll video. It's just a funny video. So, um, instead of him doing a counter and instead of him, like, you know, taking this to court legal process, anything like that, he ends up showing the picture of the address. Then when you counterclaim too, it shows your actual address in your name too. So this is a dude that claims he lives so this nigga stalking me, I could easily just go deliver some mail. That nigga put his phone number down and his complete address. What's this nigga's name? That shit look like a fake ass name. So how you gonna counterclaim with a fake name? Nah, it says, it says some nigga name. Some bored Mexican or some shit like that. Does he live in a Mexican ghetto neighborhood? I don't know. Let me see. Let me check. Let's maps it. This ain't doxing because there's no address. This is a picture. That niggas dox me every day. It's funny to you, huh? Get this nigga's crib. This is what a troll's house looks like. This is what a tear sexual's house looks like. This guy went this far. He went and showed a picture of a house, which only showed the front part of the house. He wasn't showing sides or anything like that, but um, making uh tons of like jokes like oh these broke mexicans oh it looks like a like a crack house it looks like they they're doing some shady shit there so that's when old trevor has been documenting these streams so he's been taking uh recordings of these streams as evidence because he takes down these videos he takes down these streams and doesn't allow them to be put back up so in a way youtube can't even look them up anymore so while this is going on I send him a message on Instagram. I'm like, hey, dude, what are you doing? You're doxing my family. So like, what's wrong with you? So uh, through numerous and numerous and numerous of misspellings, he continues to message me back saying like, oh, broke and, and this and this and that. Like, 
you're the you're the one that started this you're doxing me and i'm like dude i'm like a third party over here i don't know what you're talking about so he thinks that i'm trevor he goes on stream and he's like oh you guys want to see what this guy looks like and he puts up pictures of me and this nigga that um i put up his house is for some reason hit me on instagram let's put that uh that shit back up we got a picture of a house here this ain't considered doxing this is just i'm looking at property i might want to buy this shit you know now me personally i would have thought this nigga was a hard worker this is just one of the pics i mean i don't know what the fuck he was doing This is what a tear sexual, or one of them looks like. They come in many shapes, form, ethnicities. I go through the YouTube process to, you know, show that he's like doxing me, showing pictures of me, showing pictures of an alleged house. And YouTube goes to the timestamp, whatever. They go through the process. They checked it twice. Apparently, they checked it twice. And they said, oh, they found nothing wrong with it. So I'm like, okay, YouTube. I mean, it's clearly a picture of me, clearly a picture of a house and nothing. I don't know, for whatever reason, he just decided to bring me up and he was, he, he like showed the picture of the house again and he's like, oh, that looks like a, that looks like a sex trafficking house. I, I should probably um, make, make an anonymous, anonymous tip to, to call ICE or something, you know, just raid the house. I mean, look at this thing. Trash in a gutter. What is that, an attic up there? What the fuck you keep it up there? Oh no, it would suck if a lot of anonymous calls to ice ended up at that crib. Tread lightly, my nigga. Uh, so apparently someone like legit went and took a picture of his car and someone just straight up dropped the picture in our Discord and we're just kind of like, why is this picture here? Like, who's, whose car is this? Like, we've been trying to like figure out like how that picture came to be. Uh, so apparently someone like legit went and took a picture of his car and someone just straight up dropped the picture in our discord and we're just kind of like why is this picture here like who's whose car is this like you know he misspelled lawyer against me as well uh L A L A W E R Lauer. So that covers the um you know Trevor Belmont stocksing with some pretty damn fucking solid evidence. You know, low tier god was showing his house on his stream. You know, I asked Trevor to censor all that before he sent it to me because I don't want any of that in my Discord. But that's pretty fucked up. And Trevor's channel is definitely not like really big as to where he could get access to like a representative at YouTube. Mine isn't even big enough in order to show this to, let's say, some YouTube employee that can do a fucking thing about it. You know what I mean? So there is definitely like a shit hopeless feeling you get whenever this happens. All right, next up, we're gonna move on to Yo It's Sal, but I don't really want to get too deep into this one because um, Yo It's Sal is believed to be a minor and because he's so young, we didn't really want to include him in this because he's, he's, not, he's not an adult. He still has a lot to live through and I'm pretty sure he wants to be detached from all this going forward. So I'm pretty sure at this point, he also wants to get away from it like all of us do. So um, here is Vault talking about the Sal situation. Um, so Sal situation, I know Sal had a channel, um, where he would edit, uh, Dale streams down, add funny edits, you know, uh, trans transform the, uh, the content into something that's actually digestible. And initially I believe I had offered, Hey, I see you guys clipping my videos or streams and making videos out of them. How would I pay you $20 a video to make videos for me? And I believe Sal had reached out and said, Hey, um, can you reinstate my videos? I'll take the deal. Uh, just credit me as the editor in your videos. And I believe all said after that, and that was a direct line of communication by email. No, uh, I'm not doing that. You're a, a, you're a thief. You're a scammer. I don't deal with, negotiate with terrorists, whatever. Some sort of nonsense. Um, and I believe since they, at that point, had a direct line of communication, the animosity grew from Sal's young bloke, he's uh, on social media a lot. He had posted 
his uh home area on one of his Instagram pages. Looked up Sal, had his name, looked up his name on Instagram, found it, maps it up on Google Street View or whatever, saw that the address that he put on the first two or three counting claims was that address, proceeded to dox him, and then as far as we've been informed by Sal, send a letter to his home address to his parents to say, hey, this young man is making edits of my stuff. So essentially, you know, Sal is a potential teenager, you know, 14, 15, 16, and uh, he took a pretty aggressive stance against Low Tier God. And uh, he put a bunch of different information on these counterclaims because several of his videos got taken down and he knows that, um, that Low Tier God likes to dox people. So he put a bunch of different information and then Low Tier God found his Instagram and found, you know, his street they lived on. And essentially, um, I guess, Low Tier God did dox him, but he went a bit softer maybe because he's a kid. So he decided to send a letter to his uh, parents' house. He, he decided to send like pretty much a letter to everyone, every single individual household within that area in order for it to potentially reach Sal's parents, which is a bit weird, I guess. I mean, I, I've seen other situations where YouTubers send letters to other people. Uh, like, it's a bit bizarre, but you know, he still doxed him through his Discord and used that information he gained through the copyright system in a matter he should not have used that information for. I mean, look, just like watch these. And also, to that little ass nigga, um, you know who you are. Since you claim you live with your parents, I got a surprise for you. All right? I know your neighbor's address, your address, what your house looks like. I'm going to send you a special surprise. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to send your neighbors a special surprise, too. You little gay-ass nigga. That means, since you claim to be a minor, that means you're going to have to steal the mail key every day and just hope that your parents don't see what I'm going to send. Hope that your neighbors don't get it and bring it across the street. I actually wrote something for his parents, too. Let me see if I can find it. <laughs> and we're just going to keep sending it to his house over and over and over again until his parents finally get this letter and this is a warning to you mr gay adolescent just go ahead and say this i said i would like to inform you that your child mr sm i'm not gonna say his name has been cyber stalking me for months on youtube Sender, sending me numerous emails stalking me on twitter instagram etc i go by the name of low tier god on youtube your son first started cyber stalking me when i began to take down numerous youtube videos he had stolen from my live streams to create videos for a youtube channel he created by stealing my live streams i begin to file youtube copyright claims to have the videos removed I at first had asked him not to steal my videos, but he continued to file for copyright counterclaims stating fair use on stolen live streams of mine. After the videos were taken down, he began to stalk me through emails uh, with threats and attempts to attack me personally. Then he began to stalk me via Twitter. YouTube for me is a business. It's not a game for kids. I generate a salary from YouTube. Now your son has begun to download my videos claiming there he is filing copyright claims on videos he has stolen from me. I would like you to reprimand your son in some form of matter to prevent him from stalking a grown man he seems to have an unhealthy fixture for over the internet. I am a grown man that does not have time to battle kids on the internet all day. That I want to steal from me and create false copyright claims on videos videos they do not own. Sorry about that. Um I am writing you because your son claims to be a minor. Uh, this is the link to my YouTube channel below. The other one is the link to your son's Shrine channel with me. I've also included documents of everything your son has said to me via email, Twitter, accounts he has created to cyberstalk me, as well as Discord messages claiming the crimes of his false copyright striking, etc. I would like to settle this without involving anything legal, but if your son continues to cyberstalk me, I won't have a choice. My channel link, YouTube, your son's channel link, YouTube. Now, if you're watching, gay lord, um, this, ain't gonna be, this isn't going to be the first time it comes to your house, the second time, the third time, the fourth time, the fifth time. If you keep stalking me on social media or anything like that, I'm going to send it regardless. But if you keep stalking, I'm going to make sure it comes from multiple ways. I'm going to even make sure that it's personally delivered. Along with this huge package and everything like that to your parents find out about what's going on. So I'm pretty sure there's a lot of people here that would love to send it too. Okay, so let's go ahead and recap what happened here. My information was doxxed. Right, you guys saw all that. Low tier God stream archive was doxxed before me. Uh, Trevor was doxxed. There is very strong evidence with Trevor's doxing. You can see on stream that Low tier God showed his house in actually two different streams. Right, he didn't just stop at one. He went further and showed his potential address on stream. Right, and uh, <sighs> As for Vault Rep and Sal, who both received counterclaims, they were doxxed through the Discord because I feel, okay, low tier gods understand this a bit better. He probably shouldn't dox people in public and he's doing it in private now. And it's crazy. It's, it's crazy that this just keeps on happening.
And I don't know if it's ever going to end. I don't know if this video is going to be successful. I really don't know what's going to happen. But you know what? I'm trying. I'm, I'm trying to fucking end this. I'm trying to end this for pretty much anyone else that could be affected in the future. I want to end this because it fucking bothers me. Rewatching these clips the past few days have been like fucking hell. I really didn't want to open this Pandora's box. But it's a necessary responsibility that's that I have to fucking, you know, take care of. Yeah. But now we are in the last section of this video. As you've seen five doxings, and now I'm pretty much going to do a quick catch-up round of uh, what Low Tier God's been up to for the past two years, I guess. I noticed this video that Low Tier God released on Etika. It seemed pretty real. It seemed like, okay, like, maybe this guy has some heart. I think this guy, like can feel some sympathy. Uh, he's talking about how he talked to Etika in LA. And I was like, you know, maybe this guy isn't so bad. And I included him talking about Etika in my video. And I was like, okay, look, he has some positive traits, right? He he maybe understands like how bad mental, mental anguish can be to drive someone to that terrible point, right? And, um, you know, I was fucking wrong. Because, because there was a certain situation where a person recorded themselves ending their life on, um, on live stream, right? And it went all around the internet and it's pretty graphic. Low tier God went ahead and watched this on one of his live streams too. He didn't like show it on stream, but he was there watching it. That was a gunshot that he's laughing at. You, you could see him looking at his fucking phone and he's laughing at someone who just ended their life like that. Like. <laughs> oh, shit. Like, bro, I understand. Like, sometimes, like, you know, you see something so fucked up, you know, you might get a different reaction, whatever. I find some fuck, some pretty fucked up shit pretty funny too like you know i'm i'm not like super whatever not guilty from everything but the reason because i'm showing this is because how fucking fake this facade is right caring about mental health that he cares about anyone's mental health are you fucking serious dude after like laughing like this right here <laughs> like He fucking loves that dude. He, he loves seeing people die. That's that's great. <laughs> oh fuck. Oh shit. I had to rewind that shit like five, six times. In disbelief that this nigga blew his brains. <laughs> yeah. Why would you do that? check this out this is something that i actually find funny is him trying to explain away why he was laughing at that video so let me um here it is yeah let's go ahead and watch uh this stream of course but these niggas don't show remorse when they keep doxing me 24 7 <coughs> stealing from me 24 7 trying to uh, pry into uh. my personal life 24 7 antagonizing me 24 7 stalking me 24 7 stealing from me 24 7 we just gonna keep it at that. Practice what you preach. Anyways. Mm-hmm. How the fuck is how the fuck they trying to do some fake ass petition to get my YouTube down? I didn't show a video. All I did was listen to it. It didn't show his video. Laugh. I could have been listening yeah. to everything. I could have been listening to anything on a on a planet. That could have been a cartoon for all we know. I could have been laughing at Tom and Jerry. <laughs> he watched a guy kill himself on live stream then he says he was probably la laughing at a uh, tom and jerry isn't this just fucking insane like i've been watching this shit for like the past two years and now i'm sharing it with you guys like this is fucking crazy is it not like my god low dear god is a sociopath Ra ra ra. Potentially, yeah, exactly. yeah. I was watching Tom and Jerry. I don't even know what the fuck they was talking about. So, you know, that's that. I, I was wrong about, you know, him having any amount of sympathy. Yeah. So, you know, sorry about that. Low tier God. Um, 
I'm really sorry I uh, tried to paint you as a hopeful person. I was wrong. Please accept my apology. All right, and now um, let's see this. So this is like a quick article I just found in like, what, 10 seconds of searching? Capcom banned Serial Blast low tier god from all events. The really important part of this uh, like this article or whatever. Yeah, so it seems low tier god got banned by Capcom from attending their competitions because he lost the game so bad he had to attack someone's, uh, I guess, ideologies and physical attributes. You know, because he just can't keep his fucking mouth shut. Like, watch, watch, watch. Watch this. People are saying that I guess he showed like a gore video on stream and he received a community guideline strike. So like that has happened over like the past week. And if you just keep scrolling, like you'll find videos of him telling people to kill themselves, which is like... Oh, what's this? I found a video. Please shut your ass up, bitch! Kill yourself, nigga! For all the people that's been waiting to say something for me to go live, kill yourselves. I mean that with 100%, not 99.9 9 anything. I'm dead ass telling you to kill yourself. You don't deserve to be on Earth. Made more money than you made in three to five months. So you can quietly go into a corner, take the nearest revolver. Okay, okay, we, we, we got this. This video is 14 minutes, uh, 18 seconds long of, you know, him just telling people to kill themselves, which is like, personally, dude, I don't care. Like, say whatever you want on the internet, like, as long as it's not really hurting, hurting someone, because right now he's just addressing a wider audience, I guess. But I can see how people will be annoyed, you know, like, I, I, I'm really just pissed at, like, the fucking doxing and the harassment, like, the actual targeted shit he does towards people, but this, I guess, can also be against the community guidelines. So I can see why people would not be happy about this. And this is only, like, the tip of the iceberg. You can find videos like this all over YouTube. There's so many people, like, clipping streams, catching his fucked up bullshit that he says on his live streams, yet YouTube does nothing about it. Hey guys, so it is day 678, and while I was editing the video, I forgot to add a few things, and also some new things came up. First thing I forgot to add was, low tier god could be possibly evading taxes. Come February 1st, I'm taking off the Smash Brothers shit off my website. And if you want to play me in Smash from this point on, starting February 1st, the only way you can do it is when you donate the 10, it must be a friends and family donation labeled as a tip. If you don't do that, you can't play me in Smash no more, period. You can't label that donation as a friends and family, you can't play me. Simple. Charge you broke niggas trying to charge me back for $10. Expand Dong says LTG makes people just, put down friends and family when they tip him. Do. So he doesn't have to pay taxes. Dude, you realize that's insanely bad. That's not correct. You're We're lying ready. to the fucking IRS and saying every single person who sends you a tip is friends and family. That's not good. In the United States, there's a certain amount of gifts you can receive from friends and family, and there's a threshold of that. I don't know what it is. It might be like $10,000 or something. So you can receive up to $10,000 in gifts from friends and family a year, and that's supposed to account for things like Christmas presents, birthday presents, and that's not supposed to be considered taxable income. To my knowledge, I could be wrong. My tax guy does all this. Aw, thank you, Phil. So from this video, you can tell that Low Tree God wants all of his donations to come labeled as friends and family, and the reason he's saying he wants it is because he wants to avoid chargebacks, and I guess it helps his case to avoid chargebacks if they're coming from, or well, these donations are coming from friends and family. So I don't really know how the taxes for donations work, but what DSP is essentially saying is LTG basically wants to put these donations out as tips, you know, potentially, right? Uh, so he doesn't have to pay any taxes on them, and that could be potentially illegal. I don't know what, how low tier God is filing his taxes, but if he does that, then according to DSP, that is tax evasion. Next thing I want to show you guys is this funny picture right over here. So, you know, you can't really tell much from this picture because I censored the whole fucking thing. What he's holding up is shipping information from several of his patrons fans or whatever because he's going to use this information to ship them out merch so he was like look guys check out all these people who bought my merchandise he's really excited he's he's showing off all these people who bought his merchandise it shows their name and their address their state pretty much anything you need to send someone a package so that's doxing he just doxed his supporters 
but the thing is, this is what I believe to be an accidental doxing. It is doxing either way, but he accidentally doxed his fucking supporters. And here is the video of him talking about it. Mustache on cue, ready to go. So last night, guys, unfortunately, unfortunately, I accidentally showed addresses on some labels that I was excited to print out for paying customers. I would never dox anybody who's a paying customer. I would never dox anybody in general. Yeah, yeah, you see, he slipped up a bit. First, he said, I will never dox anybody that's a paying customer. You know, I'm sorry for doxing you because you paid for my merchandise. But then he corrects it by being like, oh, 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 God, yeah, I'm recording this. And says, okay, I will never dox anyone in general, which we know is a fucking lie because we've seen him dox several people already. General, it was an accident. There's people out there trying to make it like I doxed people on purpose. Listen, he does. I was excited. I was able to print out labels to make the process faster to get you guys' jerseys out, which I just shipped, by the way. Tracking numbers going to the website later. Yeah, I believe that this was an accident, but <sighs> there has been many other cases where he has doxed people intentionally. So as you'll see uh, whenever I return to the video, I'm talking about what happened, I guess, within the past few days. But before I get back to that, I want to show you his reaction to the teaser I uploaded, which will probably now be deleted. So let's go ahead and watch him watching my video. Hopefully he addresses all the accusations that are made against him. Play a victim like a little. And I can't wait to drops this shit so I can respawn on my account. Whenever my video goes up, I can almost fucking guarantee you he's going to take it down with a DMC again. But it's gonna go back up. Ability, ain't no way of justifying this shit. And this is what this cuck ass. Now look at this. He's censoring all of his cuss words. He really wants to make revenue no. off my video. Before we get into this, how many of you guys can guess who this clown is? This trying to wait two years to do some corny ass. Yeah, to do some corny ass that you started. What the fuck you think this is? You this clown ass. Now mind you, I was minding my own. Ass clown decides to drop. He said he was minding his own business after he keeps fucking mentioning me for the past two years on a stream. He literally said every day he's gonna try to flag this video, and he was minding his own business, right? Some video about me. Got a views on it with seventy thousand. Okay, so, I, so you could put all. Of okay, so this video has too many cuts, way too many censors. It's really incomprehensible. Like. I saw an unedited reaction, and basically, he skips over all the evidence. You know, let's watch. All this watch. polluted information, and you want to play all this type of bullshit, it's probably going to be everything I've said about him over the couple of years. You started it. You like, somebody that's, somebody that's trying to make a bag off my name and trying to slander me on a crazy level, do you think for a second, over your document and days, look, like your life is so... Look, he skipped over it. He, he went from the beginning and went right to day 672. He went right to 672 and skipped all the evidence. Wow. Oh, whore. Drop the video. Look at this. This clown. It's got leaked. All this fake ass information. Everything, right? I'm minding my own business. This drop this shit and think I'm just supposed to take it on the chin and relax. What f has light up shit on this f yeah, it's the first time he's talking about my bed frame. So if you watched his reaction on live stream for pretty much 30 minutes, he insulted my bed frame because it has lights and doesn't like my shirt. He also said that this is a cheap ass mic and uh, which is kind of funny because it's the same mic that Joe Rogan uses. So, you know, Joe Rogan, you have a fucking cheap ass mic, dude. Um, also, he insulted my beard when he can't even grow a complete beard. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm a little bit shaggy. I need to shave. I'm not going to watch this whole video again because he doesn't address any of the evidence. He just talks about pointless shit like, you know, again, my shirt, my bed frame, my mic. I, I don't know. But this is a new development. So whenever I first tweeted the teaser out, which was May 18th, this channel just magically appeared on May 18th. And what it says is the official YouTube channel of Delon Sparrow, Low Tier Gods YouTube Shorts, also known as LTG. So right now it looks like he's trying to ban evade in case this video does get his main channel banned. 
Um, I'm pretty sure YouTube will try to ban all his other channels in case he does get banned. I don't know what's going to happen. I'm just hoping he really, really does get banned. But he's already trying to evade this ban by creating alternate channels. Oh, and by the way, low tier god, I'm definitely going to monetize this video. It's my work. It's my video. And pretty much because you don't fucking like it, I was really thinking, man, like, is it right to monetize this? But you know, fuck it, I will, fuck you. So that just about covers all the things I've missed. Uh, yeah, let's get back into the video. And I wanna remind you, the purpose of this video right now, which is pretty much over, is to expose all this evidence, you know? Like, I after this, if low tier god gets banned from YouTube, thank god it worked. Maybe it won't work, you know, I don't want to be that confident about it, but you know, I am going to try. I really am going to try. I really just want to step away from all this, you know, I want to just go back, detaching myself to a certain extent from my content. That, that probably isn't going to happen, but I'm going to try. Because like I said, I'm a pretty private person, I have my own opinions, this, this, and that. But I don't really like to include myself in my videos. In this video, it was necessary, but going forward, who knows? Who knows what's going to happen? We'll just see... We'll just have to see what this video does, essentially. And again, I want to give a shout out to Tipster, Mimology, Psychros, um, Tommy C, Keemstar, Full Bender TV, Ronald uh, Two Inch IN, and Technicals, and all like so many other people that helped me through this whole like mess. I really hope this is coming to a close because this, I want this to be the last video I make on this person. I, I don't want to come back to this. I want this to end, hopefully on day 680 or whenever I release this video. You know what I mean? I want this to be done and over with. Two years has been long enough. And you know, before I go, I just wanna say a few things. Leave the guy alone. Don't fuck with him, don't message him, don't go to any of his medias, leave him alone. The only thing or person, whatever I want to be bothered, the only thing I want to be bothered is YouTube. I want this video to blow up in all avenues where YouTube can notice it because I want YouTube to really consider what Low Tier God has been doing and the danger of keeping him on this platform. Also, I want to properly thank you guys for getting to this. I never really, really like showed this in a video i just like tweeted about it Let's see if you can see it better here the lighting's kind of fucked oh look there, there's my ring light you can see the reflection of it this is like still unreal to me every time i pass this it's like yo <laughs> it's crazy I, I never thought like you know i never thought i would own one of these and i'm <laughs> and i'm glad the day has finally come thank you again guys for like sticking with me through all this mess you know my changes in content all the bullshit that's been going on you know like what you guys say really like comforts me and gets me and it's great i'm trying to build a, a non-trolly audience or a supportive one at least and that seems to be working you know i i like a lot of my community members it's really just great to have you guys so on that note, I think that's finally the end of this video. I can finally take a breath. Um, so on the 23rd, I'm going on vacation to hopefully just get away from all this. I'll try to keep in contact through Twitter, Discord, or whatever. It's, you know, see updates on the situation. But beyond that, I, I really need a break. I really, after going through all this, I just, I need a break. Yeah, I'll, I'll catch you guys later. Bye.